Rappers to Everybody podcast, man. Episode 56, man. We uh got a special guests in the building today, man. We got a rapper. We got a motherfucker actor. We got owner of Johnny Five, man. Yes, sir. The yes, homie sir. Self, man. What's good with you, boy? What's good, my baby? Oh, yeah, for sure. Hey, out, man. Baby. Appreciate you coming through, man. Hey, before we start, we sponsored by, but not sponsored by, <laughs> motherfucker Dookie mm. Dane, man. Shout out to my boy Diddy for the drink, man. Some good shit real quick. So, uh, man, before we, uh, you know what I'm saying, get started with everything, dog, we always do this shit called Salute Me While I'm Here. Yeah. But with that, we try to go ahead and go think outside the box because the first thing niggas think about moms, pops, brother, sister, kids, somebody that ain't, you know what I'm saying, part of that circle. Yeah. So if you got somebody, go ahead. If not, sure, I can go ahead and roll first and you can, you know what I'm saying? I mean, shit, if I want to salute anybody, I just want to salute my whole team, you know what I'm saying, uh, my engineers, my producers. Just the posse, just hold me down with my beats and just keep me motivated and focused. For you know sure. Saying? People are trying to just see me win out there for we all can just Hell yeah. get to the bag for real. Hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Because a lot of times, dog, like, niggas be waiting too late to salute a nigga, dog. Man, give me my flowers while I'm here. For sure, man, for sure. Give them to me, yeah. Man, I ain't got nobody in particular, man. I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to shout out niggas who, 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 uh, who want to start a podcast but too afraid to do that shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, shout, yeah so I'm going to shout out niggas who, who, who thinking about, it ain't got to be podcast, dog. Just niggas who think about starting something, but. Maybe you ain't got the finances or maybe think it's going to be weak as hell, some yeah, shit like that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to salute y'all, man. Just go ahead and do that shit, man. Don't wait. Yeah. It took me forever in the motherfucking day to start this podcast. Yeah, I was talking I'm about this shit for, for years. years. <laughs> Nigga, like, I'm going to do this shit. Even with music, dog. Like, I do a little, I dabble in a little music myself. Yeah. But I was bullshitting all the time, man. And then one day, I'm like, man, fuck it. I'm going to just do it. Mm. Ain't no point in sitting here holding some shit. Man. Just thinking that, oh, it ain't good enough. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So, I mean, I, you, you can't really be afraid to do that shit. No, nah, you can't. Just, you got to just keep on going and just yeah. stick and your, your, your early shit always going to probably be trash compared to your later shit once you, you know what I'm saying, become a vet. Yeah. And, and really get the shit for real, dog. So shit, man. Hey, before we start, dog, we got salute, dog. This is his first podcast interview, dog. Oh, yeah, salute Episode fifty six, dog. Salute the you know what I'm saying? Mm. So man, it's the new year, dog. Yes, sir. It's the new year. It's twenty twenty one, man. We had a fucked up year last year. Uh, tell me. It was man. some good. It was some good. It was some good for me. I ain't gonna lie, dog. I had some good moments, but yeah. what's what's some high moments and some low moments of twenty twenty for you, bro? Uh, high moment definitely. One of my biggest high moments was. Shit, just recently, man. Well, you know, McGraw after the web series came out. Hell yeah. Uh, salute to everybody at Moolah Films, man. T, shit, murder. You know what I'm saying? Thomas Harris, C No, Shorty. You know what I'm saying? Just everybody out there, man. R.I.P. Martel Lane as well. Yeah. The whole cast, man. He put me in a little web series 2017. Okay. It premiered 2020. Went crazy. Hell yeah, hell crazy, yeah. We definitely going to talk about that later on, too. Yeah, <laughs> I got some questions about that. Had to be one of my biggest moments. I'm getting so much love from that shit still. Yeah, hell so yeah. That had to be one of my biggest moments. When y'all did that shit, did you know it was going to blow up like that? Uh, You know what, man? When he dropped 211, it was crazy. Hell yeah. Five O was crazy. Buffed up was crazy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Plug love. So after he really dropped plug love, mm -hmm. it became bigger than just the Detroit scene. Yeah, hell yeah, for real. The whole world everybody started seeing that shit outside of the city. Yeah, so hell yeah. I knew it was gonna go crazy, but the response was just I can't even describe yeah. it. So yeah. Hell yeah, cause I man, I ain't gonna lie, I started getting uh a hook to Detroit movies, dog. Was 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 a uh, buff no, not buffed up. It was uh five O. Mm -hmm. I remember I was off off of work, dog, watching some shit like let me go ahead and watch this shit, dog. Mm -hmm. uh, motherfucking, that's, that was a good movie. That's when I first uh, got hold to, um, was it Murder in that bitch? Yeah. Yeah, he was in that motherfucker, Thomas Harris. Yeah, Thomas all them, Harris. Yeah, uh, yeah. Tell, tell. Yo, tell, yo. That, that was, he was a motherfucker, dirty ass cop, dog. <laughs> <laughs> played that role crazy. Yeah, played like, that role. That's how he really is. Hell yeah. yeah. Nigga's like, oh, you sure? It was 29 bricks. Like, yeah, yeah it was 29. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's about 32 in that motherfucking uh, 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 little boat and shit, yeah, dog. He's like, I'm, I'm taking these bitches. He's like, no, nah, nigga, put them bitches back. <laughs> Hell yeah. I know your ass. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like, yeah. nigga, fuck that, dog. It's my shit, dog. That yeah. was a classic ass movie, dog. Yeah, what was some, uh, what was some lows or if you, you didn't have no lows. Uh, no, I had, uh, you know, lows gonna come. Yeah. Girl, man, I deal with janky promoters. Oh, yeah. Uh, lazy engineers. Hell, oh, yeah, uh, for sure. <laughs> un unsupportive friends and fans and stuff like that. You know, a couple niggas that ran off. Yeah. I don't want to speak on that too much. Oh, yeah, but, for sure, for sure. Uh, you know, niggas were uh, stingy with, you know, profits. And, you know, you want to build something with yeah. somebody, but they not so much into the, you know, they don't. They don't know how to really build. They don't know how to do yeah. good business. Hell yeah. Hell the business. Yeah. The, the business side of this shit is crazy. No, just, I can just imagine. Rapping and doing music, looking fly. Like besides all this money we making on this music, mm -hmm. we gotta promote it. We gotta mm -hmm. put it out there. We gotta be consistent mm -hmm. with the content as well. Hell yeah. And niggas just see, oh, we need some money for this, we need some money for that. So they don't be really serious until they see that money coming. Hell yeah. You be and then that, that team be important, bro. You gotta have some niggas you can trust for real. Man, yes, around you at all times. And I ain't talking about just 
them niggas in the videos throwing yeah. up the guns and flashing money. Yeah, We're yeah. talking about them niggas that's gonna push you. Hell that's yeah. gonna be out there uh, building your brand with For sure. you, Hell your, yeah. your, your team team. No, cause you be you be surprised, dog, since doing this podcast, niggas who I don't even know for real support more than people who around me every day. It's always that way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, niggas you been cool with, I'm like, damn, my regular page don't do shit. My podcast page, niggas be posting that shit, liking it, sharing it, mm -hmm. responding to it. So, man, that shit be important, dog. But sometimes, shit, you can't really motherfucking just be so uh so held on to people around you and think that they're they gonna support you because mm -hmm. shit it's gonna be them outsiders that gonna show more love always always hell yeah dog so man when you was a uh a young self man <laughs> let us know what what what, what how, how was the household man who was in the house mom pops brothers sisters uh, yeah. and uh what side of town you uh from well shit i was originally born in brightmo okay uh, finkel and chatham i'm okay. over on finkel on a street called chatham mm -hmm. uh and it was just me and my moms and my sister and my brother mm -hmm. i got a well, i'm the youngest out of my three okay um we was over there for a minute then you know things got heavy in the household you know yeah. how things yeah, go hell yeah, so hell yeah. we moved I to know. the east side seven mile okay. my mom and my grandma pretty much raised me okay and um you know i just been thugging it out over there hell yeah hell the yeah mother. so you got a little bit of east Ham. man i was i remember i was on break i'm like what the fuck is this because oh, man, man, man I, 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 I stay on the west now yeah. but i'm from the east dog yeah. and i'm man going over there i'm like dog this shit like Every hood is fucked up, but it should be like, this is different, dog. Like it's, over there, like you niggas. It's, it's, it's sad though. Man, it's for sad, real. It's right, sad. my hell yeah. Cause I mean, I was at a high school game. I'm like, dog, what the fuck am I at, man? Let me hear the get out this motherfucker, dog. <laughs> I was about to shut that game down. Like, oh yeah, bro, put up thirty. I'm out this bitch, dog. <laughs> I ain't stick around. I ain't going back with a school bus. I'm about to get the fuck out of here in yeah. fourth quarter, nigga. Cause that's what be, be your most scraps be at them high school games, mm -hmm. dog. For niggas real. Be wild, man. Hell yeah, man. So shit, man. In the in the crib, man. You know, you said. Pops, you even mentioned him, man. Did that play a part, like, in growing up? Like, was you kind of, like, mad about that shit? Um, you know what, Or you man? understood? Well, you know what? I, I didn't really understand it until, like, my early 20s. Yeah. Because I mean, Pops wasn't around, but I knew who he was. Okay. And the reason he, was, he wasn't he was around was kind of difficult, but... Yeah. Like I say, I... I thank him. I mean, to all the deadbeats out there, ain't no disrespect to the deadbeats. Yeah. But it's like... You... I ain't, I ain't getting no abortion. Yeah. So you brought me here, nigga. Mm -hmm. That's all I really need from you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it with or without you. Hell yeah, for sure. So to this day, he showed me my respect, and we really getting closer, man. Yeah. I, I love that nigga to death. I was with that nigga last night. Hell yeah. He was playing uh, with Xbox 360. <laughs> Throw back, dog. 360, nigga. <laughs> Throw back, yeah, dog. Hey, that's you got that motherfucker up. red ring around that bitch, yeah, like that, that green one, that, that green joint. Yeah, he be yeah. like, dog, it bitch dead. Like, ain't no mm. going back to that damn 360, boy. I'm still trying to get a motherfucking new PlayStation Five, dog. Nah, you Can't find that bitch for nothing. Shit, hey, if y'all got a PS Five, let me know, dog. That's too I ain't much paying the motherfucking me. six, dog. I'm, I'll pay a four. <laughs> I ain't paying no interest, nigga. I get 25 for gas. You bring it to the crib. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> that's about it, dog. That's about it. So, dog, when you know, growing up and stuff like that, man. We always get our musical influences from our uh, from our parents or whatever, dog. Yeah. So what was some shit that your mom was rocking out to, cooking, cleaning, that Man. you was like, that shit stick with you, dog? Shanita Baker. No, you the second person to say that shit, dog. My mama loved to sing. She always used to cook. We had a big ass house too, so it was like yeah. she would, I'd wake up in the morning, dinner be cooking. Yeah. I mean, not dinner, but breakfast would be cooking or whatever. Things she cooked, music yeah. was just going. Hell my yeah. mama loved to sing. Duh. So Anita Baker, I always remember that. Her, Aretha Franklin, and uh, she used to love Erica Badu. Yeah, hell yeah, that's three yeah. classes right yeah. there. Oh, shit. Yeah. My mom was a vet in this shit. You man, know what hell yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah. dog, you know it's about to be a good morning when you smell that motherfucking good smelling food. Man, motherfucking yeah. music blasting, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause I know my mom, she get to cooking, cleaning, everything mm -hmm. all at once, dog. Like, damn. Mm -hmm. Motherfucking, this probably a good ass Saturday. Wait, watch some motherfucking Saturday cartoons, niggas, some yeah, wrestling. Mama, hold it down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Have me a nice ass bowl of cereal. I'm watching TV. I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, yeah I'm for good. sure. That's Every man. That'd be some good times, dog. Miles was in the rap, huh? Well, she used to. Uh, she was in the music. She she had a singer voice. She had a real good singer voice. Okay. My pops used to manage a couple people back in the day. Uh, okay. He used to throw like little showcases or whatever. Yeah. And um, you know, my mama was like his star. Yeah, but yeah. She didn't want to sing because she was just. You yeah, know, she was just bad. Yeah, you know fuck, I'm saying? in the crib, man. It's, yeah, it's my gotta, crib voice. I don't, don't got to sing for y'all because I'm I'm with the nigga that's putting all this together. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, man. Do, do your uh your brothers and sisters like was they like you a baby man? So was you the one they like man? I can't stand stuff like this motherfucker <laughs> everything. So, you know, nah, I can't man. stand my little brother. That's how it was with us, dog. <laughs> little nah. motherfucker got with everything, man. Yeah, I was a bad motherfucker, man. But, yeah, uh, like but being my, me and my sister, we was real close. So mm -hmm. she she was the good one. My oldest brother was like. 
I ain't gonna say her favorite, but he was like the man of the house while my father was. Oh yeah, there. for sure. So Hell he yeah. pretty much raised me too. Okay, so y'all still got that? Y'all got that tight relationship? Huh? Yeah, love that nigga. What up, though, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> love that nigga. Man, man, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Cause a lot of times, man, music play, man, that'd be important, dog. I just know mm -hmm. in my childhood, I always think about music, dog. With my mom and dad was playing in the crib, dog. Yeah, that for music real. means a lot growing up. Shit, man. So what? What schools are you in, dog? What? What's some shit that you had? In mind that you wanted to be that was outside of music like was you a hooper football man i was hooping at first then i got into the streets it was like this ain't making me no money for real i yeah. mean but it was honestly it was like i seen the rappers and i'm like you know what i want to do what they doing yeah. i seen niggas with bins as you know hell before, yeah. before, before diddy was puff before diddy was diddy he was puffy yeah hell yeah. so you know puff used to have the bins the mm. shiny shirts the money the hoes i'm like i want to do what that nigga doing hell yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? but Fuck the hoop, he, 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 he was rapping i want to do what that nigga doing but he was just making money so yeah. I was really hooping at first, playing niggas for dollars and yeah, yeah. Nigga five dollar game, play twenty one bus nigga ass. Yeah, yeah, twenty one, goddamn. Yeah, yeah uh, so I, I really was into sports though. Yeah, but um, you never, you never wanted to, that, you never wanted that shit to be like, all right, I'm going to the league. Man, I just couldn't play with niggas on the team. Yeah, niggas man, damn. Person. I wasn't a team player. I just ball, <laughs> nigga, I, hog that bitch. I ball along, and it's, yeah. it's better that way, man. Duh. <laughs> Honestly, man. So. This nigga like Will and shit on Fresh Prince, man. That nigga just passed the ball to Sam, nigga like. That nigga say, fuck, I ain't giving nobody the ball. Fuck Carlton, dog. <laughs> Carlton can hoop, shit. Fuck. You can't the, hoop, you can't ball with me, man. No, I think that's why I think I was like the, 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 I was that nigga, I always got picked up on the squad because nigga, I ain't give a fuck about, about scoring, nigga. I be excited, nigga, if I get a rebound with a bit, nigga, because I'm little. Yeah, so I yeah. snag, nigga, I'm in your face like I ain't motherfucking... Iverson crushed your ass, nigga, because I'm like, nigga, yeah. your big ass, I ain't snatched the rebound, yo, and I put that bitch back on you, nigga, yeah, and one. That's good, then, nigga. Yeah, because niggas always say, and one, didn't get fouled, nigga, like, you saying, and one, nigga, <laughs> screaming for no reason, like, nigga, I ain't even touch you, bro. Crazy. Dog, so what, uh, what high school was you, man? How was you as a student, dog? Did you give a fuck? Uh, not really. <laughs> like, far as, like, uh, like, ninth grade, I went to Caterham for a minute. And I, okay. I was I was still uh like in, in the gang life. So yeah. I went to Caterham for my freshman year. Uh, yeah. Didn't really do too good. Yeah, yeah, so then yeah. we went to I went to Osborne. Okay. I was there for like what almost a whole year. Yeah, right around the corner from here. Almost I got into a big ass gang fight. Yeah. Me and my niggas, my GMK niggas. <laughs> was was in that bitch uh while and so they ended up kicking yeah. kicking me out. Okay. So eleventh grade I went back to Caterham. Okay. They told me I couldn't stay there because I was yeah. doing a lot of gang Damn. shit too. Damn. <laughs> so um I ended up getting my credits and we moved to Memphis. Okay. So yeah, I, I seen you I, I, in yeah. your bio you said you stay in Detroit to Memphis. Yeah, definitely my second home. I went uh, to Memphis. I did uh, I graduated in two thousand eight. Okay. And, okay. Uh, then I went to uh, Job Corps in 2009. I got my trades. Mm -hmm. uh, what I get? Uh, welding, sign and display, yeah. and uh, private security. Okay, okay. You have used that shit afterward? Like, you have used it or like. <laughs> Not really, man. Like, you know, I'm, I'm good with that 38, though. Yeah. I, I had to train uh, to be this private security girl. Okay. With the 38. So, you know, oh, yeah. as far as my gun training, I'm. Hell I'm yeah. Kinda, don't don't focus up, man. Don't try to get with that nigga. <laughs> little, 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 little eight shot creeping. You know? I was doing do it. But as uh, far as that. I never use them trays, man, but they always look good on my resume. Oh, yeah, for sure. Just in case. See, yeah. You never know. You might, you got to use it, and then you got that shit down mm -hmm. right quick, yeah. dog. Yeah. Hell, yeah. So, you say you, uh, see, so you was in um, Kettering around, like, 2006, 2007. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You ain't want to hoop on a squad anyway. Them niggas was kind of trash. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the pioneers. <laughs> dog, <laughs> man. Let's do it. I can't, can't do it, dog, man. Dog, I know my, my, my little brother, his homeboy, shit, I think he came, he was after you, dog. Uh, last name was Pride. Mm. He was straight. He could hoop, dog, but. It's like, and then this, this dude had this hammerhead. This nigga was cold, though. I remember that nigga had hammer-ass head, dog. Like, that nigga was sweet, hey, though, hey, dog. Hey, hey, a pause, B. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pause, nigga. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> Yo, no, so how long was you in Memphis, dog? Like, and who, uh, you had family down there? Yeah, yeah, definitely. All Like, all my family moved to Memphis in 2007, so... My mom's, my grandma, my uncle. He mm. had he had passed not too, like uh, a couple years ago. Oh, she rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace, Uncle Sammy. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So like my family, cousins, aunties, uncles, everybody was down there. So I took it upon myself. I stayed on there for two years. Mm -hmm. Got my swag right. Got the everything back in position. I said the same thing you said. Like you know what? I'm sipping uh, with my brother on the porch. I'm like, yo, cuz, I'm finna start rapping. Yeah. He like, do that shit. Hell yeah. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go back to Detroit. I'm gonna set this shit up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I did it. Yeah. Yo, now, yo, people, your mom and them, they still back there? Yeah, everybody lives in Memphis. Okay, so I'm, you go back and forth a lot? Yeah. Okay, all, okay. All the time. How is, it, how is it in Memphis, dog, like, compared to Detroit, though? What's some, what's some similarities yeah. and what's some differences? I mean, similarities as far as, like, 
I mean, you know, the people cool, man, but you're going to get a lot of love in Memphis. No, oh, hell yeah. Because yeah. it's, it's basically Southern hospitality. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they love a nigga from down south. I mean, they love a nigga from up north. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I, mean, I was I, in Texas, I, yeah. I got the accent hoes. Hell yeah, like, where you from? <laughs> you say Detroit, nigga, they scared <laughs> any motherfucker happy at the same time. They, they, they like, try to fuck with you, <laughs> too, you yeah. know what I'm saying? No, no, yeah, for yeah, real. Yeah. But far as, like, the women, the women's cool, the jobs, is, it's easier to get a job down there. Oh, yeah, there. I bet, I bet, I bet. Because yeah. I was on with the Texas, dog. Niggas was super cool. I think about Texas niggas. I don't know about it. in Memphis niggas was a little slow on like the motherfucking fashion and shit. Oh, you like, know what? Yeah, yeah. They was nowhere near like us. Like, like I think Detroit dog. We I heard that shit in the song. Like when nigga, we we was the ones who started that whole Cardi shit. Like niggas who rocked them bitches. They got that bitch from Detroit. Like oh yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? So like down there, you could tell there's a whole lot of difference with the whole dressing, how they mm -hmm. move and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And but then they show you mad love. Like, Always. They show you mad love, Always. dog. And we used to be hoping with niggas like. Niggas was just cool as fuck. Like it wasn't nobody hating on niggas or yeah, mad yeah, for no reason. No it was it, it was least hating. You you barely would get hated on down there. Mm -hmm. Y'all like to hate up here. It's yeah. different up here. Oh yeah, it's different. Yeah, but, niggas uh, mad too for no <laughs> fucking reason. Like damn, cuz <laughs> nigga woke up, you a gangster all day, nigga. Like man for no reason. For no reason. Man, hell no. But I can definitely say that though. Far as the Yays and Cardis, yeah, I feel like my nigga again, my nigga Moolah, he dropped that buffed up movie and hell, Yays yeah. went crazy. Duh. Niggas copying. Cardi's Woods. Yeah. I mean, you, Cause you, nigga, you can have on an old throwback sweat outfit and then put them yays on, you gonna get every, <laughs> you gonna fight the man, dog. Crispy as fuck. Them yeah. glasses gonna make you a whole new nigga, dog. Oh, you yeah. went from motherfucking Clark Kent to Superman. Like, <laughs> real, uniform, real yeah. quick, dog, real quick. So yeah. man, with the music shit, man, like, I know you coming up, you listening to Detroit niggas, dog. And we, we do a lot of top five, man. So if you had to do a top five of your personal Detroit artist, dog, who would it be, dog? Ah, uh, top you, five. Oh, you, that's, can clue, you can clue yourself if you want to. If oh, not, yeah. then. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I'm always put myself first, but mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't put myself in that spot just by me being humble. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, for sure. But uh, I'm going to always say, for one payroll, because he a motivational nigga when he's oh, speaking. Oh, yeah. He, he make you want to make some money. He make you want to do some shit, though, mm -hmm. for real. Yeah, definitely payroll. I'm going to put him uh, payroll. Um, I fuck with Vez hard. Oh, yeah. Vez yeah, uh, Code. Babyface. Okay. Man, I gotta get hit to Babyface, dog. Cause my brother, everybody been telling me about Babyface. I never really listened uh, to it, man, dog. That nigga, is, he found his lane and he ran with it. Hell yeah, cause he wasn't even showing them little uh, Gotti yeah. and all that junk. Yeah. Oh yeah, he 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 definitely doing this thing. Yeah, so that's three. Yeah, uh, I said All Star Jr. Okay. And uh, oh, you know what? Damn, I gotta break this shit down too. You, <laughs> you said five, but uh, y'all know who Buddy Montana is? I heard the name. Okay. I heard the name. Okay. Yeah, I heard the name. Yeah, real street buddy Montana. He don't get as much credit as he did, but he don't rap as much. Yeah. But I would say him, and I'm going to just break it down in between him or Dusty McFly. He another nigga. Dusty McFly, get, damn, Dusty yeah, yeah. Y'all can't say y'all don't fuck with Hell Dusty. Hell yeah. I fuck with Hell Dusty. Yeah. yeah, I fuck with Dusty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's that like my... That nigga was cold, dog. It's another nigga who don't... People don't really talk about like that. He he from Ann Arbor, uh, P.L. You heard P.L.? I don't know what he it is. But I'm fresh in you. But yeah. I'm fresh you, that nigga man. be uh, doing a lot of shit with what like. To him? He do a lot of shit with the NBA and NFL. Mm. Like on um Thursday Night Football, he be doing like the intro, mm. the music for the, uh, Thursday Night Football, dog. That's a good oh, look. Shit. Yeah. That's a real good look. Hell yeah. So he fuck with them. And he fuck with the NFL real heavy. I remember that nigga just from being on One Season Park on Freestyle Friday, yeah, dog. Yeah, that's how I got hip to him. Yeah, I yeah. Him like I used to see him in the club at, Saint, at, at the Drews and shit, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, P.L. shot to P.L. But yeah, Dusty Man Fly was definitely cold, dog. Yeah, I fuck Damn, that. I ain't heard that name. I forgot, dog. Man, hey, cuz. Can't, can't come sleep on cuz. Come on the show, bro. Yeah, <laughs> Dusty, come up here. Talk that shit. Shit, nigga. Hell yeah, for Talk real. Now, well, off camera, dog, I was telling you about how, like, we was talking about uh, uh, Big Gov and stuff. Yeah. And you were saying, like, how he don't get his just do whatever in the game and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, like when, when you get hip to him, man. I mean, he was actually, um, man, I didn't know who he was, but just, like, watching somebody grow, he was in uh, this movie called Envy. Okay, okay, with, okay. Uh, Ray J. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, uh, Motherfucker, uh, uh, Lisa Aziz. Ray. Uh, well, yeah. right now, yeah. yeah, she showed. Damn, she sure was in that motherfucker. <laughs> Lisa Ray uh, had AZ in there, and yeah. uh, you know, uh, Gov was a part of a Ray J crew. Yeah, okay. So yeah, he he had some uh, some some scenes in there. Yeah, and he yeah. was in there. So he growing up. I seen uh, he did a song with Nisha Nache. Yep, yep, yep. He had some uh, shoes out at yeah. one at one point in time, and um, he did a movie. I think was what was it called Wait. Yep, but yep. yeah, he was in that one too. So like, man, this nigga really out here popping. Yeah, he his just do because he really is working. Yeah, hell yeah. And I just seen him at a, a showcase with a uh, Bianca bag. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he can rap, dog. Yeah, he nigga can rap. talented. He yeah. really talented. Yeah, he rap. He can rap, dog. Yeah, but yeah, shout out to uh, Big Gov, man. I got hold. I, I I got a hold to him, man. 
going to my nigga uh, Verdict. Uh, I don't know if you heard Verdict. He a rapper from the East Side. Mm. He had an uh, album called Kajin for Everybody. And he was mm. performing. He was before. I'm like, oh, who's this nigga? Mm. He cold then. That's when Unk put me on him. And I'm like, this nigga cold. Mm, Music nice. cold. See, you tell you folk with uh, California heavy, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah. he got some good music, man. Shout out to Gov, man. Yeah, good interview, to dog. Good interview, too. Shout out to Gov. So shit, man, who was some... We talked about, like, people you listen to because off your mom, what she was playing in the morning. Yeah. But once you got your own ear for rap, dog, who was the niggas you was listening to growing up, dog? High school, middle school, whatever. Man, I was... Me and my squad was Dipset. <laughs> we dip he like set. a Dipset nigga, too. <laughs> it was dip set, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was, we was, we was strictly Dipset, man. Duh, yeah, hell you yeah. know, like the, uh, just like the New York. Yeah, the, yeah. Before Atlanta had their little run. You yeah, know, it was New York. You had you know, yeah. Dipset, G. Fab. Oh, yeah, Fab. Yeah, uh, D-Block. Hell yeah. We, uh, who was that one nigga on D-Block that was like, they 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 rap their nigga who be freestyling all the time, dog? What, you talking about Jada? You talking about Sheik? No, no, he was like one of the niggas who wasn't like known in, in D-Block, but he'd be like motherfucking spitting like, like freestyles on their on their albums and shit, dog. You talking about J Hood, maybe? J Hood, J Hood, dog. <laughs> I'm, I'm an old with this. Yeah. I, I know all this yeah. shit. J Hood, <laughs> dog. J -Hood, we used to be yeah. like, dog. I thought being young, I thought J Hood was gonna blow like this nigga. Cause he had the right people around mm -hmm. him. But when I I say this, it's just the business aspect around that yep. kind of split niggas up. Hell yeah. It's always the business that fucks up the, the creativity. Hell the yeah. Group. Goddamn so, J Hood, that's a throwback, dog. Yeah. Shout out my nigga Al. He put me on J Hood, motherfucking uh. The whole uh, uh, D block dog, mm -hmm. but Dipset definitely oh, yeah. was like nigga Santana, Jones. Like to me, my favorite one was always Jones. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Jim Jones, my favorite Dipset member, dog. Yeah, he... And to the, if you look at it from then and now, he been the most consistent. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Now. Yeah. That's why I say yeah. Jones then got better because he really couldn't rap this. His way. last two or three albums. Was... I ain't gonna lie. No. Nah. <laughs> His last two or three rap, albums man. was hard. Yeah. Hard dog. Yeah. Like. Wasted, wasted talent. Yeah, that shit was hard. I think that was based on the Bronx Tales. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. But then he had one after, like, two old niggas that still can go. Jim Jones, well, I, he old, he, he yeah, older nigga. Jim yeah. Jones is old. Yeah. <laughs> and Fat Joe, because Fat Joe has heard some shit he just did, dog. Like, yeah. Because yeah, he had yeah, that yeah. album too with uh, uh, Cool and Dre. With Dre off of Cool and Dre, dog. They shit was hard. Yeah, like, yeah. both them niggas was, nigga had like one of the hardest albums of 2019, dog. Mm, yeah, Fat Joe was never bad at all he, no. he actually was really 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 good and he always come with a hit though mm -hmm. always come with a motherfucking hit but damn so you I, I, you was probably a santana nigga huh oh uh, yeah i was yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah because he he just stood because he was younger he stood out so much hell yeah and it was just like far as how he was spitting it's like man i want to wear the, the band hell yeah, like, yeah, nigga <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that nigga was cold dog. Yeah. but though i was still mad that him and wayne never dropped that album uh, they, they, they dropped the mistakes. Right, but right. They supposed to drop that album, dog. They drop. I can't feel my face. Yeah. They supposed to drop another album. Yeah, they supposed to drop an album because that was just, the uh, I can't feel my face was just a mistake. Yeah. They supposed to drop the, like a, a for real album, dog. Because that that that's when you could tell that Wayne was fucking with them because his whole way he was dressing was kind of like Dipset. Yeah. With he the bait. Change. You know? He changed yeah. the whole the little the, the rope change and like the slimmer jeans mm -hmm. and stuff like like the whole rock star look. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Fucking with them niggas, dog. Damn. Mm -hmm. Dipset yeah. niggas don't understand. Dipset made me want to rap, dog. Man. I used to still other niggas uh, uh, bars and be rapping like it was mine dog oh you clowning <laughs> like dog my you nigga clowning. peachy dog shout out to peachy so when i wanted to rap dog i i know niggas didn't know who he was so i still like his first two bars and then i build off that shit you know what hey a lot of niggas do that <laughs> <laughs> like, like let me go ahead them, damn that shit cold yeah, i go to school and they rap some shit like damn that shit sweet yeah. Like, nigga, yeah, you know, it's all me. It is what it is. It's ready, motherfucker, my nigga Peach, nigga. <laughs> Stole that nigga whole little shit, dog. So, shit, man, your name's Sev, man. Yeah. But what, what were some early rap names you uh, you came up with before that? Before Sev? Yeah, because Sev, I get you, you got that from Seven Mile, of course, right? Being from Seven Mile? No, right? no. Something no, else? No, no. Well, no, no. Uh, well, no, I ain't sorry how I got my name. Actually, okay. how I got my name, I was seven when I wrote my first rap. Oh, shit. Damn, okay. Yeah, but me being on Seven Mile growing up kind of came with it. Yeah, it came with it. A lot of people yeah. say that, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, but to answer your question, uh, I was Young J. Mm -hmm. I was J Bricks. Mm -hmm. I was J Hustle. And, uh... Um, there was a lot of J Hustles out there. That's why I'm like, that shit, that shit, I can't copy that shit. <laughs> it was just too much. But, uh, yeah, I was definitely Young J. Yeah. J Bricks, J Hustle. Okay. Shit like that, you know? Yeah, so when it said, when that, when that, when that stick with you? Like, this, uh, this is my shit, this, this is what it is. When um, I dropped my first mixtape, yeah. uh, it was called MAD. It was an acronym for Money and Dedication. Okay. And I'm like, you know what? They were just calling me 777. Seven, 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 and yeah. I was out with 
people doing different shit and they would want to call me Sev and they'd be like, yo, Sev. Yeah. And that shit just kind of stuck with me. Hell so yeah. it was young Sev and then it was like, I just was Sev for now. Okay, okay. So Sev, that's the first time you wrote your rap. So that's when you first like, man, I fuck with this rap shit. Yeah. That's you Sev. Know, you had the whole composition book, the little black yeah. and white one. Hell yeah, motherfucker. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I was, I was doing that shit so much. I'm like, man, fuck this rap shit. And that's how I knew that I posed a rap because I had like two, three books, no cap. Yeah. I threw all of them away. Like, I don't, I don't care about this shit no more. Mm -hmm. My mama brought the books to me. Like, why was these in the garbage? Yeah. I'm like, damn, ma, thank you. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. She found these bitches. Like, I, I know these my son raps. Yeah, for real. Here's your rap books. They yeah. was in, I don't know why the fuck they in the garbage. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck you doing? <laughs> right. yeah, so I'm yeah, like, yeah. I'm right, mom, I'm going to be rapping. Yeah. That's a true story. Yeah, <laughs> a true yeah. story. Yeah. So when, when, when uh, who was the first person to tell you, like, in the early years, like, dog, that shit, like, you, you, you nice. Like, who the first, or who the first person you rap for? Uh, rap for uh my brother. Yeah, yeah, my brother. He he was like the first person that was like, "Yo, Jay, you know what I'm saying? Jay, you 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 nice with it." Yeah. And he like, I wouldn't tell you that shit if you wasn't. Yeah, I'm your brother, sure. but I'm being real with you. So I rap for him. I rap for his homeboys. Yeah. And this is when I was younger. So yeah. we had some guy for Atlanta. You know, we was working on some stuff when I was younger, but shit didn't go like it's supposed to went uh -huh. But a lot of people knew I rap. They just wanted me to keep on pursuing it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to definitely say my brother found my talent first. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 cause, yeah, big brother always going to keep it real. Like, man, you get your trash ass oh, out. Oh, yeah, because you can't. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. He, he, and he cut throat like a motherfucker. He'll definitely tell me that shit. Hell yeah, because whenever <laughs> I got some shit, like, it's two people I know I, I can go to and keep it real. This nigga and then my big brother, because that motherfucker, he's super conscious on the rap. He, he like black thought niggas like that. Mm -hmm. So it be some shit that I write. And, and, and so someone here be like, dog, that shit's sweet. Like, oh, this shit must be sweet then, because this motherfucker mm -hmm. is a hard nigga to uh, to, uh, to judge and shit, dog. He don't judge you like like motherfucking Simon off of uh, <laughs> <laughs> America Island. Hell yeah. yeah. Like, damn, nigga, this shit was cold. Like, no, it's not. Like, man, fuck nah. you, bro. <laughs> so, man, like, back, back then, yeah. like, I know a lot of times when you first start writing, you just writing. Like, you ain't got no motherfucking bridge, no hook, no nothing. You just probably right, writing. Right, right, when, right. When you start, like, getting the, uh, how's your writing process, dog? Like, when you get it, do you got to get a beat first? Do you just uh, write? Like, no. you got to have a hook? I, I, I really don't even write, man. Yeah. Like, I, I just, it's like, I just, Live life. Yeah. You know, I just had the thoughts come to my head and I'll come up with like four bars. Yeah. Why you in the studio? Uh, yeah. I right, now I ask you this. Let me ask you this though. Cause I know somebody who did yeah. that shit. Benny Siegel, though. We was, we was at the studio with Benny Siegel. He did that shit, but it took him about two, two, three hours for one verse. Nah. How quick do it take you to do that shit though? Like, okay. 10 minutes. Damn, I wish I could do that shit. Yeah. <laughs> this is like no cap. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I really couldn't write. Like, if I got a song made up in my head, I'll yeah. write it down to confirm that this is the song. Yeah, 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 Unless yeah, yeah. it'll just be a freestyle in my head. So yeah. I really stopped writing. I just really just memorized the raps in my yeah. head, though. Yeah, that shit hard, dog. Because, I, nigga, I forget songs I ain't wrote. Really? Nigga, let alone try to remember some shit that I ain't motherfucking trying to, like, I couldn't do that shit, dog. Whoa. So I salute niggas that can do that shit, dog. That, yeah. that shit that shit tough, dog. Wanted, wanted, For real. Wanted. So, man, uh, the first time in the studio, sometimes niggas don't be understanding, like, when you're in the studio, dog, that shit different from like just rapping in the room. Yeah. Cause like sometimes in the studio you try to rap too much on beat or you, nigga that shit just is a different type of feeling than just rapping shit. You know what I'm saying in your bedroom, dog. So how was your first time in the studio? First time in the studio. Uh, shout out to my man Keon. Mm -hmm. uh, he had a studio in his basement. I did most of my albums with him. Most of my mixtapes with him. First time I was in the studio with him, I was real comfortable, man. Yeah. Um, it's like I one took it. I, I, it was one take. It yeah, one take, Jake. <laughs> I was I recorded a song called "I'm Gonna Chase Money." And yeah, I went through it. And he was like, "Man, you done this before?" I'm like, "I just been practicing." Hell yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, I mean, but you gotta project your voice a little bit more. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You gotta. Uh, Make sure your words ain't slurred, and I don't drink while yeah. I'm recording. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta have my vocals right. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's one thing I learned not to do, dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, <laughs> you that, that, you like, fuck up all day, like man, damn. I don't drink while I'm performing. I don't drink yeah. while I'm uh, doing my music. Yeah. Sober, S sober thoughts. Oh yeah, for coming sure. soon. What's some shit that you need in studio? Most niggas need hoes, chicken, drinks, <laughs> weed. Like, what's some shit that you gotta have? Or just shit. Some niggas be dolo. Like, what's some shit you need in the studio, dog? Uh, man, just really just water. I mean, I, oh, I, you I, need that water for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna always need some water. <laughs> I mean, I'll have a bottle in there but if i'm like doing my ad libs or like doing my uh doubles yeah i'll probably sip a little bit man but for the most yeah. man just you know just give me a bottle of water maybe yeah. some food or something nothing really yeah. major i can record anywhere though hell yeah, yeah. hell yeah dog. so uh the one the one um tape i heard from you dog. well of course i heard a lot of your uh shit that you got on youtube and stuff your videos and stuff like that for sure but when i would talk to you you had that uh loving uh loving all my money yeah so uh, i always do this thing called top three dog <laughs> Give me your top three tracks from that shit. If you, if you, I you were. My money so my, my shit, I got thoughts. Yeah. Long time 
and uh, my baby. Oh, so man. So that was my opinion on that bitch. My nigga, I fuck with you for that. <laughs> I fuck with you for that. Because it's like, uh, I loved my my baby. My yeah. baby was a was a real touchy song. I wrote that about a female, honestly. Okay, okay. And um, I, I'm going to definitely say my baby. Yeah. First. Thoughts was a freestyle I put together, but that, I just like that shit was it. hard. I appreciate that. Yeah, that shit was hard. Uh, the beat just caught me, so I just that was a freestyle I wrote, but I just put it on the beat. Yeah, I yeah, didn't yeah. write to that beat, so I okay. just put it on the beat for sure. And um, yeah, a long time was different because the concept was just I done been through a lot with this shit, man. Hell yeah, I'm just trying to get my just do with this shit. So. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So man, what what like with that? What what was your response, dog? Like as far as like the music with with, um, with the people with that with that with that tape, man. Uh, from the city period, like. What was the it was, response? It was wild because that's the that's like one of like my second one I put on like a streaming platform because mm -hmm. I was making CDs and passing them out. For Hell a yeah, old school way. Yeah, yeah I, I know, missed those I ways though. Doing that. So it was like I right, put that shit on the streaming platform and then, you know I'm seeing money come to my TuneCore account. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? This one is definitely got to be the motherfucking one. Yeah. yeah so yeah, when yeah. I start seeing more money from this shit, I say, you know what, man, I'm gonna I'm go this route again. For sure. Hell yeah, 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 dog. Hell yeah. Do you ever feel like niggas sometimes like man, I might have to move away? From Michigan for this shit to really you know pop off, or do you feel like you get enough love that you can do that shit and rock out here? Nah, I'm, I mean I love the city. Don't yeah. get me wrong, but you know you can't reach where you want to go just staying in the same spot. Hell yeah! Everybody can't be this. Everybody Hell can't yeah. be shine. Everybody can't be you know grizzly. Yeah, you know yeah. yeah, so yeah, so uh, I got some talent out there in California. I got some niggas fucking with me out there. Shout out to Bear on the beat. You know what I'm saying I did some uh, songs with him on my current album finna drop. So okay. I, I'm uh, I'll be in California in May. Yeah, some yeah, shit yeah. Together. Hell yeah, dog. So I got this one shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? Get back on that, uh, get back on that, um, that, that last tape, loving all my money. Yeah. Got this shit called, uh, talk about the bars, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so, it, uh, one junk on the thoughts, you said, uh, you said, uh, fuck friends, niggas weak when they not around. Be loyal behind my back. Uh, be loyal behind my back. They say a lot, they say a lot about you. Damn, I might say this shit all wrong. <laughs> no, I say, yeah, fuck friends, niggas weak when they, when they not around you. Be loyal behind my back. They say a lot about you. Put trust in the mess. Put trust in yourself first. They ain't got to doubt you. Free yeah. my nigga McCarr. Real niggas ain't forgotten. Cause that, that's the truth. Cause yeah. if niggas can show love when you when you just not around, mm -hmm. when you just doing your thing and niggas got your back or just you know what I'm saying arguing yeah. for you, mm -hmm. that's when you know niggas is real. Exactly. Yeah. Like exactly. don't wait for me to post something to post me. Nick post me without me even being you, you know what I'm saying me? or yeah. talk about me or 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 like I I feel like a lot of times with music dog when you a local artist. Niggas ain't gonna sit with your music. They gonna play your shit one time and that's it. Mm -hmm. But if it's a nigga who like a Kendrick or a motherfucking a little baby or whatever like that, oh yeah, uh, you rocking that shit for a whole yeah, month, nigga, like yeah. over and over again. So yeah. I be feeling like a lot of times, all right, that, that love and that what you talking about right there was yeah. some real shit because like, dog, show me that you that you loyal. That can go for friends, exactly. That can go for motherfucking females, whatever, mm -hmm. family. So like when you was writing that shit, like what would you what would you think about like was that uh, was that know. personal? I mean, yeah. I, I mean, if niggas know my life mm. and what i'm thinking about niggas knew who, who that bar was really about yeah you know what I'm okay so, okay yeah. so it was just like you know yeah put trust in yourself first they ain't yeah. gotta doubt you free my nigga mccarr real niggas ain't forgot about you okay. uh basically you know i had some people that was on some snaky shit mm -hmm. and when i start rapping you seen the change in them from yeah. where i was coming from and how Hell we grew yeah. up with each other so you know, niggas listen to my music sometimes and think I'm dissing them, but most yeah. times I just be speaking in general. Yeah, so. hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah so. Now it's one, it's one bar in that motherfucker that's funny, dog. Like, yeah, I'm fucking with Kano because I don't trust you. <laughs> Look her dead in the eye, tell her I don't love you. <laughs> that's, how, that's how it was. <laughs> yeah, that, man. That's how you be your bad with the females real quick, like. <laughs> man, Jesus, man, it's crazy. But you because, got to, cause I be yeah. dog. I tell my son, cause my son's 14 now. Like dog, like. And I tell these little, the little niggas I work with, like, they, uh, they 2021. I'm like, dog, I'm glad I'm not y'all niggas. Because, like, the, all, these these females, like, these these little these little chicks, man, I'm calling them little chicks. Crazy, man, dog. Little, like, little, little, little thoughts yeah, out here. You can't, trust, you, can't, you can't really trust females nowadays, dog. Like, nah, for man, real, dog. Man. So, like, nigga, with that shit, like, do you trust any, like, do it take a, while, a lot man, for you to get the trust of a female, dog? I mean, you know, you can't really put your trust into nobody. I mean, oh, hell no, hell you, no. you put enough trust into anybody where they can't hurt you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, far as females now, yeah. and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looked at as different from my, who I was 10 years ago. Hell yeah, hell so, yeah. So, you know, I gotta start realizing that, but... I, I can't really trust them, you know. What yeah, I'm saying? I can sure. have love for them, but <laughs> yeah. I, I can't really trust. That should be hard, though. That's why. I, yeah. See, I, 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 I found one I could trust. Motherfucker, we ain't got married and shit, dog. You gotta lock them down. We yeah. can trust them. You can't like, just dog, go like, wrong. Like yeah. you, motherfucker, true for real. Like damn, yeah. I ain't never like you. Yeah. Fuck, with, you fuck, and when you fuck with a chick that you ain't 
even got a second guess some shit, you be like, all right, this shit different. Right, right, it is. But if you met, I ain't mess with a couple of chicks, like, nigga, hold on, you ain't really going out. You about to yeah, motherfucking yeah. go ahead and fuck a crane yeah. real quick. Nigga. <laughs> fuck you, man. Hey, you know, hey, another thing is when, you know, I done lost a, a couple good ones by not trusting them, too. Oh, hell like, yeah. Like, they was being That's loyal true. and being hell real yeah. with me. You, I wasn't trusting them, but I ain't lost them. Like, damn, I done fucked up. Yeah, like, that so, was yeah, a good one. Yeah. We all do that, though. We, this nigga, he know who he, I, <laughs> I did. We all, <laughs> we all had fucked up thinking yeah. that we doing the right thing, dog. Yeah, we on blast, <laughs> <laughs> so dog, no, it's one shit. It's one shit, dog. That um, that that made a, a long time, dog. Yeah. At the, the very end, you say God do the right thing, like Spike Lee. Don't want my daughter fucking with a nigga like me. Man, that's fast. Why do like? Uh, my question is like, why do we wait? We why do we um be like that when we had kids? And why we can't just be that nigga from the jump? Man, you gotta explore life a little bit. <laughs> you gotta explore life. I made a lot of bad decisions to make better ones in the future. I mean, to not to make. Mm -hmm. Those same mistakes in the future. Yeah, yeah, and like yeah. me, I got a lot of nieces. I, yeah. don't, I don't have any kids, but I got nieces. Yeah. And I looked at my niece the other day, like, man, you growing up to be such a beautiful, smart young lady. Mm -hmm. And I would want whoever you dating to be the opposite of your uncle. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, and what, that's. What, 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 was, what is some traits or what's some shit about you that you would want, you know, saying your daughter, if you was your daughter or your nieces, like, what's, some, what's a part of you that you would want to see in a dude that they fuck with? Uh, I would want them to spore. Yeah. Spore and just. Not just be on her for like sexual purposes, just yeah. show her the game. Hell yeah, you know hell what I'm saying? Yeah. Teach her, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Make her, you know. Yeah, cause my daughter is a month old. I just had my baby girl, dog. Uh, congratulations. Appreciate it. I'm already thinking about shit when she turned motherfucker 18. Like, mm -hmm. damn, I, I gotta do the right thing. Like, you do, man. <laughs> I gotta make sure. Lee. Yeah, <laughs> and they gotta make sure, like, a lot of times they gotta motherfucking see what you're doing for their moms or how, how you moving. Yeah. Cause they gonna fall in love with a nigga that's similar to their pops. Yeah, they uh, true, true, and I'm glad that my niece got her father in her life because yeah. they are very good role models. Mm -hmm. he's, he's a very good role model. Because uh, when you when you see that shit, I'm like, dog, what? We 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 be fucking up, and then don't think about that shit till we get older, have kids. Like, damn, I was yeah. on some, I was on some bullshit, dog. Oh shit, yeah. I was on some bullshit for real. Some wild shit. Now, last one, dog. That's on a long time too. You say. Niggas sell a couple of bads, think they Jamie St. Patrick. I was really doing bad, same jeans, no jacket, trap house with no heat, no sheets on the mattress. Mm. That shit, though. That's, that's facts, though, man. That's facts. We we had a little spot. I ain't going to say where, but oh, every, yeah. everybody knew where we was at. Yeah. It was nice, though, where, you know, they cut, they cut the heat off. We had yeah. to uh, get water bottles. You Hell know what yeah. Saying, to warm up the water. You know no, what I know about boiling water for bad water. Yeah, you, you already yeah. know it, nigga. That was facts, man. No. So, you know, but we still was making money. You mm. know what I'm saying? But we were, when the money we was making, we wasn't buying shoes. And cars and clothes, we were stacking that shit to hell get yeah. some decent shit. You know what hell I'm saying? Yeah, I yeah. never wore my money for real. Yeah, hell I yeah. I have a couple, couple hundred dollars, and I have on a white t-shirt and some. Hell yeah, you know for real. That be, but yeah. dog, when you went to that life, dog, you came, you even and not even that life, just making money. Period. You never wanted to just. I don't know. It's, it's certain times and certain places for that shit, dog. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like that's why a lot of times, like when you see people, you know, what I'm saying getting set up because niggas putting too much shit on the ground, mm -hmm. too much yeah. shit out there for people to see. Oh, you yeah. too uh, accessible. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So if you if you in that life, or if you making good money, dog, you got to know how to move, dog. Man, we lost a lot of good rappers because of that. Yeah, man. A lot of motherfuckers, dog. A lot dog. of good rappers because of that. From the city and out the city, dog. Mm -hmm. You losing yeah. people every day, yeah. dog. Shit, dude. The, the, the wildest shit, and that wasn't even on no bragging shit, but like the wildest person that died from rap to me, dog, as as a, a adult was fucking Nip. Like, man, damn. That shit was wild, nigga. Then man, they took nip. Man, that shit, that shit fucked me and my squad up. Yeah, then you got niggas in C like you can like Dex, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Dex. Ooh, that niggas forgot about Dex. Like nigga, how he died was tragic because and I don't want to speak on how he got murdered, but mm -hmm. like I say, to be a street nigga, mm -hmm. how he did it, mm -hmm. it just wasn't the fact that he came out the club and got the busting in the air. Yeah. The fact that you don't know who's looking for you. Yeah. That you target yourself and you shoot in the air. Mm -hmm. and now they know where you at. They yeah. shot him close range. Yeah, for sure. So like that was that wasn't a good a good move. You should have had some people around. Yeah, tell yeah, you like, yeah. No, nah, get him to the van, get him out the yeah, way. Chill out. Is, yeah. I think he had just um was fucking with Meek and shit. He just got signed to Dream Chase yeah. or or something like that. Hell he got yeah. a joint venture, something like that. Yeah, dog. The, yeah. yeah, so a lot of times, dog, when you in this. When you in the business, dog, as far as music or you doing what you do, dog, you gotta know how to move, dog. Mm -hmm. You gotta try, you gotta watch your surroundings too, cause some of the niggas you move with can be motherfucking jealous of what you doing, dog. Always. Your closest homeboy, like, oh, this nigga think who the fuck, who the fuck said, who the fuck this nigga think he is, right, dog. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? Who this nigga? Like mm -hmm. niggas be mad. Or the money you make, it's two things that niggas gonna be pissed off, dog. The money you make and the hoes you fucking with. Oh yeah, <laughs> man. And you don't be thinking like that shit, man. Like that's a, that's a hold of me. You can fuck wherever you want. Yeah. I don't care about the bitch. You know yeah, for sure. No disrespect to the women, but I don't, I don't be caring about that shit. Like mm -hmm. like I said in one song, like I respect a real enemy 
mm-hmm. rather than a fake friend. Hell yeah. So for if sure. you're a fake friend, I, don't, I mean, fuck it, nigga. Just tell me you my enemy. Yeah. I have some type of respect towards that. Yeah. We just enemies. You Hell know what yeah. I'm Hell yeah. So Hell that's, yeah. That's how I feel about it. That's, that's, that's my whole take on that. Hell yeah, man. So, man, you know, you said you, you got uh, you working on a new project, dog. Oh, yeah. When can we, is that going to be an EP? A whole man, a, 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 a album? It, it might be an EP. Because yeah. what I did, I had 16 songs. Okay. And I supposed to be doing a joint project with my cousin, uh, Cheddar Boy Malik. Okay, okay, Malik, yeah, shout yeah. out to Malik, yeah. yeah. Shout out to him. He, uh, he on the new uh, project too. Yeah. And um, I had so many songs. My man's like, you should just break these bitches down. I had two albums. Hell out. yeah, for sure. So I'm kind of dishing out the albums I got. I mean, the, the projects on yeah. the projects on the project I'm got come out now. So it's like I'm probably gonna have two albums dropping. Okay. Probably one this winter, one in the summertime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I'm finishing up my uh. This album now called Sober Thoughts. Okay. I'm just waiting on this feature from a big artist, so. Okay, okay. Yeah, so. <laughs> shit, yeah, man. man when, you, when, you, when you get that, man, come back through. Come oh, back you through. Know, I got to. I'm going to come drop that shit off. Dog, check with Malik, yeah. though. Yeah, mm-hmm. I remember. Dog, that's like when I moved back to the city, because I was staying like in, uh, in Gross Point. Yeah. I moved back, dog. I remember my uh, homeboys, I'm a Cheddar Boy, baby. That's, that's for sure. sure. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? And that's when I started getting hip to Detroit music, dog, was then. So then I started listening to Blade. Oh, yeah. Then I remember uh, KDZ, nigga, like, Ooh, Stuck in My Ways. Oh, man. That's a classic Detroit Stuck album, nigga. Stuck in My Ways, nigga. yes, nigga. And I, Role Model. Both his CDs yeah. you dropped was crazy. I went to motherfucking Chantanese, dog, right there on Harper and, um, what's that, Van Dyke? Got the motherfucking album for twenty four dollars, nigga. Mm-hmm. Paid that real price, didn't get no bootleg. The real price, yeah. I see all the songs and Hell everything. Yeah. I remember no Blade on that bitch. Uh, niggas don't forget. Short Dog was in Detroit. Oh, Short Dog was an animal. Short man. Dog was Hell. cold. Man, Short Dog was. You crazy. had that motherfucking um that little uh rap shit they used to have on uh at night, Seven Mile to Bel Oh yeah, everybody know about Seven Mile. Man, yeah. you had that motherfucker. That, that one video always stick out to me with him and Juan dog on the ground at Count My Dope Money. Count My Hell Dope yeah. Money. Hell yeah, the yeah. niggas never in the kitchen yeah. and shit, dog. Yeah, dog. That's that's to me that's one of my favorite Detroit albums dog mm, that's oh stuck yeah. in my way oh yeah that's definitely gonna go down as like top 5 of the yeah. classic Detroit albums and then you got Blade like during that time with Detroit niggas dog you had you, like I said you had Blade you had all, everybody from um you know what I'm saying? That they camp blade. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wines, the street yeah. lords and all that shit. DZ. Then you had Big Hurt and them. Oh yeah. Rock bottom. Rock bottom yeah. yeah. Then you had the Cheddar Boys. Everybody had their own sound, bro. Yeah. Everybody yeah. had their own sound. But then as things, you know what I'm saying, progress, it's kind of like a lot of niggas kind of sound the same a little bit. That's why I can't say about you. You got your own sound. You don't sound like a typical Detroit nigga. For sure. But a lot of niggas do a whole copy and paste, like, oh that nigga doing it. Let me go ahead and insert mm-hmm. myself and, and yeah. sound just like that nigga. Mm-hmm. So what you be feeling like the current uh uh uh, uh shit with hip hop dog like I mean I hip hop but Detroit rap I mean like far as like who I'm like, feeling do, do you feel like nigga like do you feel like too many niggas is rapping the same I mean to be honest you just gotta really find out like what you're really into or about to say, or is that just a Detroit sound I mean the Detroit sound is hot now yeah yeah for oh, sure I mean because it was the time where niggas knew who he was but now they know who he is yeah yeah they you know fuck with us heavy I feel like forty two. Oh yeah, Sada, they 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 be jocking Sada. Like I seen a lot of wanna be Sada. Oh yeah, nigga. And for I even disrespecting niggas. Y'all need to get that nigga his flow back. Y'all <laughs> yeah. try to sound too much. It's a lot of niggas that sound I ain't gonna lie, it's a lot of niggas yeah, out there. Yeah. Some niggas out of town and in town. Oh yeah, shit. for sure. So for uh, sure. I just feel like, no, nah, I mean our wave is just pure right now. So we gonna mm-hmm. keep on rocking with that though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause at first it was, I was thinking like maybe niggas just copying, but I'm like, damn, maybe this just our sound. Like Chicago had their sound with the drill. Drill music, music. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So in Atlanta, like maybe this just our sound and that's mm-hmm. how niggas, you know what I'm saying? That's how niggas rap. Cause niggas look at look up to other Detroit rappers and shit. Yeah, now definitely. Hell yeah. So with the music, dog, you looking for what's what's your goal with this shit? A partnership or a deal or just like Man. just put keep putting shit out? I mean, I'm I'm consistently gonna keep putting stuff out, but my main goal is just to really not just be a nigga that just blow up. I want to learn the business behind it. Mm-hmm. I want to be like my own marketing. I mean, just do everything for myself, marketing, yeah. promotion. You know what I'm saying? Get everything together on point. Hell yeah. I want to be a nigga that just okay, you rap, sign this, and now we gonna give you this much, and mm-hmm. I mean. Taking my, uh, I, I get a little advance. I spend that, and yeah, I ain't yeah. read the contract. Do you like, owing niggas? I'm owing niggas. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of niggas fuck themselves up by doing that. So mm-hmm. I just want to learn the business, basically. Hell yeah, hell the yeah. Business aspect apart. You know Hell saying? yeah, hell yeah. Because I think the whole thing, man, especially with this day and age with social media, dog. Yeah. Best thing is a partnership. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no, it really. You can sign a deal if you want that machine to back you. Yeah, that that, that machine definitely. Yeah, cause they gonna put you out there. But it's so much money to be made, dog. Like mm. that, you can go ahead and, and if you got the shit, you can show them like, hey, look, this is what I'm doing on, mm-hmm. on these posts, on this, this, and the third. Right. So what can you do for me that's different? Exactly. You know what, what I'm saying? What can you do for me? Yeah, and if not, nigga, shit, we can we can partner up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't about to just sit here and own me. I gotta right. do these
Is it an age cap? I don't. I used to think that. Yeah. Cause somebody told me like, well, you getting a little bit older. What you gonna do about it? Like, yeah. yo, man, I do this shit. I was doing this shit just because I like to really do it. Hell yeah. But when you start seeing money off of it, it's yeah. not. It, it becomes into a job. Yeah, for you know sure. What I'm if you buy your own studio, guess what? You have to learn to work that much. Hell yeah, for it's sure. It's a job. You Hell know what yeah. Saying? You got to put money in this shit. Hell you know yeah. What I'm so if you gonna be forty years old, let's say a good job hire you, you gonna say, nah, I'm forty years old. I don't want to work this job, but they paying you good money. Hell yeah. Like how old you gonna be until <laughs> you say, I'm just, I don't want to make no real. Money. Yeah, hell yeah, for saying? sure. Hell if yeah. I'm forty five out here just dropping shit on SoundCloud, I ain't making no money from yeah. it. Of course, I'm not gonna do this. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all about how you like what you put out and how much you really. I think it's our call. You like, man, I'm gonna change my name. I'm forty <laughs> <laughs> seven. Seven to forty. Hell forty yeah. to seven. Man, yeah. I'm out here doing goofy shit. No, no, but I nah, think no, nah. but low key with rap, that's the only. That's the only genre of music that got an age cap, dog, for real. Because, nigga, everything else, nigga, if you into motherfucking rock, if you into motherfucking singing, nigga, you can be singing forever, and, nigga. And that's where, that's, that's where it comes in, that a lot of these rappers, I mean, it's not really an R&B scene no more. Yeah. A lot of these niggas is putting that, that vocal behind their voice Hell and stretching yeah. their voice, and it sounds more like R&B Hell yeah. singing. Hell yeah. So, yeah, yeah it's, you see a lot of niggas out here doing that. Yeah, for too. sure. Hell yeah. yeah. I miss them good motherfucking uh, R&B songs, nigga, back man, in the day, nigga. Yeah, like, I'm talking, man, I was listening to some shit with my uh, stepmom the other night. Man. Played a uh, 112. Hell played yeah. Because, nigga, B and don't person that we got like you know how like our parents can go back and listen like Temptations Isley Brothers oh, yeah, yeah. like uh, the our only person that we could play dog and go back to is R. Kelly dog <laughs> that's our only goat nigga like <laughs> yeah, yeah R. Kelly <laughs> dog, that's a, who else we go when we like motherfucking R. 50, Kelly. 60 dog at the motherfucking barbecue we, yeah. who, who we gonna play besides I mean, him I mean, we can play Michael, Michael Mike yeah but Mike's still kinda like our mom's kinda like people though okay Jill you tomorrow yeah Jill Scott yeah Jill Scott yeah, yeah. but as a dude Everybody. I don't give a fuck. Oh, I, yeah, I don't give a fuck what nigga say, dog. R. Kelly's a fucking goat, dog. Uh, he is. You can't knock him. For you that. can't knock him. You can he, knock him for. He a nasty he motherfucker. Outside of music. Yeah. Judge him for that. Allegedly, he a, yeah, he a nasty <laughs> motherfucker. But Man. when you listen to nigga music, nigga, that shit. Twelve play. You making yeah. some babies off that motherfucker. Motherfucker, let's step in the name of love. Come on, Chocolate nigga. You you gonna be right in that bitch Come stepping, on, nigga. Man. Exactly. Nigga. <laughs> you he, ain't gonna. Hey, he a pervert. I ain't getting up. Hell no. Nigga, you get the fuck up. Your ass up when that song gonna come on. When and, you, yeah, yeah. I bet yeah. you most of you niggas that's, that's fucking these hoes and got playlists. I bet you are killing your shit, nigga. Yeah. Oh, I definitely got a song. <laughs> I definitely got a couple of them. R. Kelly. Ask ask my brothers, man. They already know. I love uh, certain R. Kelly. Dog, dog, motherfucker. Because I'm I'm thinking like damn R. Kelly. Like even I mean you can go to the groups and shit. One twelve jacket is. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Mm -hmm. But as a solo act, on 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 a male point of view, dog, that's like that's the that's our go-to. Mm -hmm. As far as like when we get older, we tell our kids about damn. You know how my mom would tell me about motherfucker Teddy Pendergrass, Smokey Robinson. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. like, well, shit, R. Kelly was that man, but man, don't a, look at what he did though. But that's a good one though. So who you think from this generation gonna be next? that nigga? Shit, I don't. I mean, you just. I, I'm gonna tell you mine. You tell me yours. As as R and B yet? Yeah. Oh man, damn. Maybe like uh, shit, Usher probably. That's too. Mm. That, that's too far back though. Oh. Uh, right, he ain't he ain't you, current. You can say uh, Usher, but I, I would I wouldn't say him. I wouldn't say him, but he like, is a good one. Though. Maybe Neo. I was I was gonna say Chris Brown. Oh yeah, for sure, Chris Brown. Yeah, yeah. but see, when I look into that motherfucking R and B bag, I'm talking about like Chris Brown make a lot of good. A, a, a lot of dope songs, classic songs, but I look at him more of a pop artist almost. Yeah, I'm talking about just straight up like singing, like, uh, singing the drawers out your mouth, the pains you off like, your of your ass, like like like, uh, like Avant maybe. Avant was cold, dog. Avant, Avant. yeah, Avant was cold, but he ain't been out. He been on yeah, that's why I say maybe Usher R Kelly is our, is like our somewhat. I you know give you that. Yeah, I give you that. That's why I was arguing with my motherfucking cousin because she told me that uh. Maybe you probably feel the same way too, though. That Chris Brown would beat uh, Usher in the verses better. But then I'm like, you can put on that one album, nigga, Confession. Oh, yeah. It's like fucking 10 songs on that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> That's classics, nigga. Like, yeah, yeah. He ain't had to do too much after that. <laughs> yeah, he, he shut the game down with that one. Hell yeah. He was with a chili then, right? Yeah, but for the longest, I thought that that album was about her, but it was really Jermaine Dupree talking about his shit. Really? And he wrote that shit for Usher. I did not know that. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. So the whole time I thought that Usher had Baby on Chili, but it was really, he was just singing the shit that Jermaine Dupri was going through. Damn. Yeah. He told me some shit. So Hell yeah. I'm always be wondering how a nigga like Jermaine Dupri get Janet ass. That nigga had that bag. I mean, I ain't hating no <laughs> nigga, but I'm like, damn, this nigga got, got that I, bag. All then got Janet, dog. He like, got that bag, man. man. You know, JD was that man coming up. I mean, Hell yeah. I'm talking about before the Birdman's. Uh, Hell yeah. Even when he linked up with Jay Z for money, anything, Jermaine, because Jay Z Duh. was on the come up. Hell yeah. JD was that. That's a classic song. Yeah, yeah. Classic yeah. song. Hey man, speaking of a, a, 
of a versus battle. I see a lot of niggas in the city doing like little seven song battles for the bread, dog. Uh -huh. you, you put your shit up against somebody for the bread? Nah, shit. Ain't oh, you like, man, fuck that. Anybody like in, it's popping in the industry. Now. Or just like, yeah, just like some little. Cause I, it's this one little page versus Detroit, and they be doing like little shit on Sundays, and niggas be battling each other. Like, mm -hmm. would you do some shit like that? Or you like, man, fuck, I ain't even doing no shit like that. Shit, nah, I'm down for whatever. You know yeah, what I'm it is what it is with me. Hell yeah. Shit, I mean, I got faith in my music, man. Hell yeah. Real, so yeah. Only thing with that shit though that I don't like about it, I think it should change up. They should have like maybe uh, judges. Because yeah. if you going off just what niggas talking about your homeboys, of course your homeboys gonna be like nigga, mm -hmm. yeah, this nigga, you yeah. know what I'm saying? They gonna agree with you, so right. you can't go off that. You gotta go on like maybe have a panel of five, some niggas who don't know you, and then have them mm -hmm. judge that shit each song. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And don't have niggas that's like totally opposite. Because the one I seen was a uh, dude named Polo Fr uh, Polo Frost, and the nigga named um, Les Fenoy. Two totally different rap niggas. though. one nigga talking about the hoes, one nigga talking about life. Yeah. So I'm like, y'all can't have no battle with each other because yeah, it gotta have a balance. Yeah, there. No it gotta be like the same type of artist, dog. It's kind of yeah. like motherfucking uh, Jill Scott battling fucking Trina. <laughs> Ain't gonna make no Too sense, dog. Nobody gonna watch that. You know yeah. what I'm saying, dog? Yeah. Now I know back in the day, bro. I know you was a motherfucking watching making the band, bro. Oh yeah. Motherfucker walk in and get the cheesecake and shit. Oh, that ain't crazy. Next fast getting fucked up by Fred, though. How you let that little nigga fuck you up, <laughs> Choke man? Choke that nigga out, dog. You made Philly look bad, nigga. <laughs> fuck what you talking about right Yo, now. You wildin', so cuz. So, if it had to be a making a band, including you. Yeah. And so, it's four of y'all, including you. Who would be your other three bandmates, dog? Uh, you talking about, like, in, in the city? Just, like, period? I mean, we could, it could be a city or just, just whatever. Just Maybe. period. I mean, because I, I got some young niggas coming up, and I want y'all to uh, try to check them out, too. Okay, bet. Uh, my nigga, uh, Duo Nation, man. Shout out to my nigga Moolah. He cold. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Him, Green. Uh, mm -hmm. My nigga, Ill Will. Mm -hmm. Um... Man, I'd love to be on anything with Rocky Bad. Yeah. Anything okay. with Rocky Bad. Yeah, yeah. As far as the females, you're her and Bianca. Okay. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Bianca Bad, Rocky Bad, uh, me and my niggas from Duo Nation. Okay, okay. So, yeah. Now, if you had to do one, uh, industry niggas, who would it be, dog, that you think it makes sense that can, you know what I'm saying? That makes sense. Yeah, my shit, my shit be, uh, my shit, I said T Pain, that nigga do all the hooks. Mm. <laughs> mm. T Pain, then, of course, myself, dog, then I want a nigga just like, I want a nigga like, I want her. I like her, dog. Damn, I, I really, I mean, she the uh, light skin. Dude? Yeah, oh, nigga. I mean, it be so many them. I'm that, married, but nigga. That, okay, we'll chill. Huh? Her nigga, he her just cold, said, he nigga. just said. Hey, she I know. Mean, <laughs> I told her ass, nigga. Her is the truth. Like, a lot of their music sound the same, so it be like kind of yeah. hard to really just yeah, yeah, tap yeah. into them. Yeah, but if I want to do on some rap shit, I do two pain. I do her. I do me, and then I do motherfucking uh probably like uh be talk. It's a toss up between Cole and Kendrick. Damn. Cause I know T Pain gonna fuck the hooks up and then can sing. So all right, since you put it in perspective like that, you gotta give me me Jada. Okay. Uh, yeah, me Jada Fab. Yeah. Y'all niggas got the bars. You got a uh, nigga yeah. swaggy like y'all yeah, both swagged yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, far as the motherfucking hooks. Yeah. You gotta have somebody with the hooks. That's though. what I'm thinking. That's, that's, that's a hard one. You said T Pain, but that that'll probably be the best one. Hell yeah. To be honest, though. Cause he gonna make you a hit. Yeah, he is. He is. But I know who can be with y'all niggas. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick y'all hood nigga. Yeah, who, who? Roddy Rich nigga. Oh man, you <laughs> the game with that one. I wasn't even think about. Hell yeah. I wasn't thinking about that little nigga cold dog. Yeah, I man. fuck with him dog. Mm -hmm. I fuck with Roddy dog. And you know real. what's crazy? I ain't know who he was. Yeah. I, you know I fuck with Nipsey Heavy. Oh yeah, hell so yeah. I seen he did a song. That song. Nipsey. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yep, yep. So I'm like, who is he? He, yeah. he nice. I think though, low key, I think it's the last song that they put out as far as before he died. Before he died, yeah. 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 And that, that happened tragically. Man, that shit fucked March, up. March 31st, March 30th, March 31st, something like that. Man, man I was it's coming from a fucking movie audition. Duh, it's Fuck two people up. I won't forget, nigga, that passed away, dog, recently. It's him, Kobe. Nip, and Kobe. Kobe. Nigga, I did, I, I did a show. Yeah. It was a Sunday, bro. And when I got the show, my dog, Easy Fresh, dog, I'm looking at my phone like, Kobe did. I'm like, all right, this got to be some old fake shit. You mm -hmm. know, I, they be reporting fake news. But then I see TMZ report that bitch. Ooh, then yeah. Sports Center, I'm like, dog, nah, like, nah. I'm not going to lie to you, nigga. That's the one time nigga shared a motherfucking tear, bro. Yeah. I got for a nigga who outside my family or like yeah. outside my close friends. Yeah. That's the one time because it's like, dog, like that dog, we both were on the same age, dog. That's like the first person you seen that died that was like in that on that level. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? We, we grew up watching him. Yeah. Definitely. So you know, you got niggas like Mike, he's still alive. Like mm -hmm. I, I guess for like my mom and like my people, like I guess what hurt them probably was like Michael Jackson and Prince. Yeah. When they oh, passed yeah. away. Yeah, definitely. Like, I know I was working at Chrysler, this one lady was in that bitch boohooing when Prince died. I can imagine. Like nigga, she wasn't even working no more. She went home, <laughs> nigga. Like, <laughs> she went home. Hey, like, funny, damn. Man, but, hey, yeah. He man. touched a lot of people's lives though, man. Hell yeah, him, man. And, him and Mike. So man, before we move on, dog, last question with the music, dog, what's What's some shit that you looking 
to maybe improve on or what's some shit that you what's some what's some goals of yours with the music shit dog um just really just building my audience man if i yeah. could get some more paid gigs out here mm -hmm. and just working with different people you yeah, know what yeah, I'm, saying? Yeah. I, I'm such a person I'm, I'm i'm low tolerance when it comes to like working with people because mm -hmm. they don't be on the same shit that you be on mm -hmm. so you gotta put this money up we gotta be on this shit on time so we gotta work together oh yeah for sure so working with more artists in detroit and just building my fan base Hell yeah. stuff like Hell that yeah. got to got you yeah. dog all right man you 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 know what i'm saying what you you acting and stuff, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? First thing I seen you on, dog, was McGraw Ave, dog. <laughs> and I'm like, this nigga was talking hella dirty to my nigga 40, 40 great, dog. Shout out to my nigga Vic. Shout out to my nigga 40. Tell that nigga the fuck home. Get the fuck out of yeah, here, nigga. I'm, yeah, I'm down yeah. right now, nigga. We yeah. ain't got no money. Yeah. Fuck you. But look, Dre, been two weeks. Two weeks. I'm gonna need that money, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm fucked up. My yeah. nigga's fucked up. I ain't you got no fucked way. up. And your niggas fucked up. Sound like you got me and dog fucked up. But look, this is what I'm gonna do for you, little nigga. Since I'm feeling real generous today. How about you give me a little something? Just to let me know you trying. Trying? <laughs> nigga, who the fuck your soft ass talking to like you a motherfucking boss? You luger little worker, nigga. Look, how about this, nigga? Since you keep running your motherfucking mouth, nigga. I take that shit, nigga. Just like that. I got the money, nigga. Let me see you take it. Since we talking all this trying shit, nigga, let me see you try it. Woo! <laughs> nigga, you a motherfucking gangster, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. When I first walked up, and I seen you and these little hoe niggas, I said, damn, this nigga pussy. But look, this what I'm gonna do, man. I'm gonna mosey on back to my boss, since I'm a worker, right? I'm gonna tell him what you said. Y'all fellas have a nice day. God bless you. And then you let you, you you fucked up and let motherfucker uh murder pain destroy uh, rich kill you, man, dog. This nigga murder kill me in every motherfucking movie, man. I know he be laughing at this. I'm gonna get this nigga again. <laughs> Like yeah. and you look at it like this that was that was love because you was on a show that yeah. fucking blew up, yeah. but then you're like damn I died quick dog like oh, yeah yeah yeah. So how you look at that at that situation like did it help you or did you wish that your character might last a little longer then you nah. died nigga like nah 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 you know a lot of people be saying that shit but a lot of people was into shit like nigga fuck that you was on Amazon Prime nigga. Hell, I yeah. sent that For shit. Sure, you yeah. know nigga you, you you out here now yeah. and like I told T like a thousand times like I appreciate that shit oh, yeah. because one thing that Detroit people don't understand is. Well, I know you watch his, his films. Yeah, 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 so, for sure. The one of the biggest rappers in Detroit died in his first movie with him, yeah, which yeah. was I swear Vezo. Yeah, Vezo got whacked. Yeah, but look at Vezo now. Yeah, he for just sure. giving me a platform to yeah, keep to on build, growing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I can't just be into shit and just be a star. I mean, I can <laughs> yeah. just know with some of his his films. You know, it just went a different type of way. But you know, he he locked in. I appreciate him so much for that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I didn't get any bad feedback. You know, a couple of niggas clowned it, blah blah blah. But for yeah. most, it was respect. Like, yeah. nigga, I will I'll die in the movie too. Hell yeah, if, if, Hell yeah. if that came down. Hey, to nigga, it. hey, I've been telling all the time, nigga. I had Thomas Harris on the show. Yeah. I had motherfucker uh 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 Gov. I told him niggas I'll be third number two, dog. You feel me? Hell yeah. I'll be a nigga like, hey, hey over there. <laughs> <laughs> niggas be like, I don't want to die in this shit, but I'm like, hey, if that's a part of the script, man, you just gotta play your position and play your role. I'll make my way on one of these scenes so I can laugh, dog. Mm -hmm. Watch that shit, bro. You, you gotta make it. Gotta I, make I told you it. I was showing these niggas my acting ability yesterday. They laughed at me, so I don't think that's gonna oh, I, I just yeah. want a cameo, dog. Like Hey, I, it's, 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 it's all you need for real. Yeah, for that's real. All you dog. Need for real. What made you uh what made you get into uh, acting? Was that something that just kind of like came out the blue? Um, I honestly was uh hollering at every uh director in the city and stuff like that to just play my uh music yeah. through like the scenes or whatever. Yeah, 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 for sure. And, uh, one of my close female friends, she was a a, a, a promoter at, at a club and she used to dish my music off to everybody. Okay. And uh, I guess Moolah heard it and he contacted me like, "You want a part in the movie?" I'm like, "Oh, bet I'm down yeah, here." Yeah, hell with. yeah. So that was in a uh, plug love. I had okay. a part in uh, plug love as well. If I had, a, I got shot in there too. Yeah, murder, yeah. <laughs> murder, pain Mur like murder again, <laughs> murder again, <laughs> murder say, again. Oh, oh, seven that bitch. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, killing I'm that nigga. <laughs> Shout out to murder, dog. Yeah, but uh, he he reached out and uh, gave me the platform, man. So I'm definitely sending my music off. And, you know, people just hitting me up, especially mm -hmm. since McGraw had dropped. I'm getting uh, deals from everybody. And yeah. I just, uh, I'm just, I'm working on a web series now with Candy Kane and uh, B.O.B. Films. Hell yeah, uh, I seen it. Random, yeah. yeah I just yeah, was yeah. shooting yesterday. Okay, so. what's the name of it? 
uh, random. Okay, right. random, random. Okay, what, what what's that about, dog? Uh, or what, just, or if, without giving too much away. Right. Uh, just uh about brothers in, in the city. Uh, okay. My pops was locked up. Okay. So me and my brother run the city doing uh selling drugs, killing yeah. people, just a whole bunch of random shit. And it's mm -hmm. crazy the scene she got. Yeah. She real creative. Man, man. Shout out to Candy. She he real says a web series. Yeah. Hey man, if y'all need me a die in that bitch, dog. Hey, listen here. Go ahead, nigga Murph. <laughs> listen here. Hey, I'm gonna have a shower today. Buy a hoodie on, like. <laughs> Make sure you get my hoodie in the sink. <laughs> Listen here, man. Nigga, pop my ass, nigga. I'm, I can be in the court drinking some motherfucking Duke and Dame. Like. You feel me? Make sure you get the bottle in there. <laughs> you die with the bottle in there. Yeah, nigga, I damn, yeah. nigga, damn. Hey, I'm going to die so funny, dog. Like, yeah, I'm going to yeah. fall crazy, dog. Yeah, I'll let me do <laughs> Shit be funny as hell, dog. Yeah, man. So, McGraw, that was, that was your first time on the, on the movie? Uh, no, no, it was actually. Oh, no, no, my pack. Plug, plug, it, yeah. It, it, was, yeah. It, was, it, was, it was Plug Love, and then okay. I did uh, I, Plug Love, I was in a come up with Ashe Khan. That's what me and Martel work. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, rest in peace. And um, I did Living a Lie, a short film. Yeah. Uh, Candy Cane. I seen that, dog. Living a Lie. That's when you had the uh, the white wife. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You think I smashed about three hoes in that motherfucker? Man, she had me three chicks, going three crazy. Three young ladies. Yeah. yeah, he said, oh, young ladies. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, three young ladies. Young he ladies. smashed it. <laughs> yeah, but we had to discontinue that because a lot of the cast people had fell out for Oh, shit. Yeah, I was just about to ask you, like, was it going to be a 2 be continue? Or? Man, we supposed to, man, but shit just happens, man. Stuff be going so fast with, when it yeah. comes to that, so. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah but. Do you ever think about now, like, you ain't you got your foot in the, in the acting and stuff, have like, you ever thought about write, writing your own shit? Um. Because you already write music, like, you, I know it's, like, a little different, but you ever thought about writing something yeah, short? Um, well, my, my, my partner, Cope, my, my partner Fresh, he uh actually writes scripts or whatever. Okay, okay. So we ain't really pitched them off to nobody just yet, but mm -hmm. we got some stuff in the making. We just got to find the right people that's yeah. really serious to Hell shoot yeah. and show up on time and get everything together. Hell yeah. Because, yeah. yeah, like, dog, that, uh, back to McGrath, though, I ain't get, I ain't gonna lie. I'll be lying if I, if, until you, I ain't get hip to them until they had posted all that shit with Shaq talking about the shit. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Uh, he did, and and that's how you that's how you know yeah. my nigga T got skills when yeah. it comes to that shit. And then I'm like, dog, me go ahead, nigga. We quarantining, we in the crib and shit. Like let me go a ahead. motherfucker. Yeah, let me go ahead. And I think that's another thing, low key, that kind of probably helped the who, whole who the Corona house? shit. Who was in the house? Yeah. Like niggas going to find shit to watch, mm -hmm. and then that shit, dog. I'm watching it like, dog, this shit, this shit good. Like yeah. this is a good ass fucking series, dog, for real, dog. They working on the uh, next series now. Man, man, I told, like I said, I told Thomas, Thomas, man. Holler at me, man. I'll be third number five. Fuck you. Yeah. I'll be in the window get shot, nigga. <laughs> niggas, I mean, I, I got I got shot, but niggas got dirty. Niggas got did dirty in there. Hell niggas yeah. got shot in the tub under the water. Up Hell yeah. Debo shot him in the head under the water man. and shit. I ain't die like like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I got popped, but yeah. niggas could have got killed worse than that, though. But, Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. So you got this new uh, series. When, that, when the web series dropping, dog? Uh, that we just not started, so we ain't got no okay. dates or anything. We just okay. trying to get all the scenes and stuff okay. together now, though. What be, dog, what be like, a dream role or a motherfucking dream actor or actress you want to work with, dog? Uh, man, I ain't gonna lie. I'll be thinking too far up if I said Denzel. Yeah. But of course, you know, he the go of uh, this shit. Hell yeah, um, shit. Shoot. Shoot that motherfucker up this shit. This shit, man. I always want to work with, um, I say Denzel, but you know what? My man's from, um, uh, Snowfall. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. something. I, I forget his name. Oh yeah, yeah. My man, dog. That that nigga cold. Dog. And I, I nigga, you, when him. he talk, you would not think like, damn, it's the same nigga. Like, yeah, that's yeah. that's my shit, bro. That bitch yeah. coming back home next month too. Yeah, February twenty fourth. Hell yeah. Man, I, I'm promoting for they shit. Hell yeah. Hey man, put my <laughs> shit, nigga on snowfall, man. Yeah, for sure was good. Let shit. my nigga work for uh for my man's dog. <laughs> yeah. He coming that motherfucker. That's a good ass show, bro. Like yeah, real talk. Yeah, but my man, definitely him though. Yeah, my man John Singleton. Uh, rest in peace, man. Yeah. That was a good ass. That's some good shit. Cause I was. I was so into power, but then I started watching Snowfall. Like, man, mm, fuck power. Mm, this that yeah. shit right here, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Motherfucking Snowfall, bro. Hell that motherfucking yeah. Motherfucking shit right there. Hell yeah, man. Uh, uh, now I seen on your on your um page you say uh you know what I'm saying you you the uh creator uh Johnny Five. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. What's that? What's that about, dog? Well, it it actually started off as me just making t-shirts. Okay. I had like a, a loyalty gang t-shirt mm -hmm. line, mm -hmm. and it was uh going it was going well. So I needed more merch. Okay. Needed more merch. So I ended up buying a print machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I needed the photo shoots. Okay. So I had to buy a camera and, you know, set up everything. Then I needed yeah. backdrops. Yeah. So I had so much equipment mm -hmm. around me, I just started to uh, produce more. Okay. So it was, um, it's still a LLC. Okay. I'm still building it, though. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, for so, real. Yeah. Okay, so that's something you're doing. You're doing, you're doing shirts, you're doing photography, you're doing all that with yeah, this? Yeah, Okay, so Johnny Five is the name of the brand. Yeah. Oh, okay, though, though, I got to talk to you about that shit, though, because I'm trying to figure out as far as, like, we got a little press, but I'm trying to see how we get transfers over so we can 
be oppressing them bitches on the shirts. Yeah. Because a lot of times when you get those bitches, I don't know what shirt, what type of vinyl, what you need. Yeah, right. I'll be knowing that shit. Cause I some... mean, it depends. I'm going to cut you off. Oh, no, go ahead. No, but it just depends on like what you're trying to put on the shirt. Like you yeah. got, you know, some be stitched, you need like embroidery. Oh, yeah, you hell have, yeah, like, hell yeah. Screen, yeah. The screen. Yeah, screen press. Stuff, so. That's the one I think I need more is a screen press. Man, you but, gotta have the, the right shirts because that them bitches be shrinking sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna, no, you wanna no. get the shirts off to the point that they can keep on wearing them. Yeah, you wash them and dry them without right. the motherfuckers. You got a motherfucking large T. That bitch like this now. Yeah, I can't wear <laughs> this one. That, <laughs> that wide, nigga, that shirt. <laughs> motherfucker, that became your motherfucking like... girl shirt now. Like, damn, hey, you can have it. Right, your bitch sleeping in them and shit now. Nah, Hell yeah. <laughs> dog, for real. I hate those shirts, dog. That's why now, nigga, I don't dry no, no shirt, dog. Yeah, exactly. Wash and hand dry that bitch, dog. Exactly, yeah. Because soon you dry it, nigga, motherfucker, everything yeah. fucked up with the shirt. Damn, I love that shirt. I, had to, I just, I put my shit in the cleaners, man. Mm -hmm. I just put my shit in the cleaners. Hell yeah. yeah. This is a swag ass nigga, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. That was all good. <laughs> dog, clean, I remember the cleaners, dog. Speaking of the cleaners, dog, I put my, my jeans in the cleaners, dog, because you put uh, mm -hmm. jeans in the washing machine, it's over, nigga. Mm -hmm. That bitch done for, nigga. Yeah, like, but no, I remember I had, um, I was I was heavy into the jersey shit when I was in high school. Yeah, me too. I remember I put my Tim Duncan jersey in that mug because it went with some shoes I had, dog. These niggas fuck my shit up. The nah. numbers was black. Them bitches was motherfucking gray like the jersey, dog. Damn. I'm like, y'all ain't fucked my whole jersey up, so bro. So you put like, it in the washing machine or cleaners? No, the cleaners. They really? fucked it up. Yeah. What type of, what, was it a replica or was it like an authentic one? It was, it was authentic, boy. Oh, yeah? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it's the first time he fucked it up, dog, because I had so many jerseys, bro. Yeah. And it's the first one he fucked up, and that was my favorite fucking jersey, bro. The gray and black Tim Duncan Spurs jersey. joint. Yeah. Yeah, damn. Man, because I had like, I think it was like some, uh, damn, some black and gray, Um, I want to say the... Uh, the sixes, it was low top boys. Mm. They went with them bitches perfect, dog. <laughs> I'm like, that was the only time I really rocked them shoes was with that jersey. Yeah. Hey, fuck my motherfucking jersey up, dog. Damn, I was heavy. I had motherfucking T Mac boy. Oh, yeah. Got me my T Mac Orlando jersey, went with my white and blue uh, 12s. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, nigga, I was I, I, every jersey go with the shoes. Exactly, dog. yeah, yeah. I yeah. had every Vic jersey, dog, the black one, the white one, the red one. Oh, yeah. Then I had every Wilson jersey, dog. Damn. Nigga, I was, man. Jerseys was popping. I mean, niggas still bringing jerseys back. What was your, uh, what was the favorite, what, what, what was some jerseys you remember, like your favorite boys? Uh, man, shit, uh. I had Throwback Pippen. Tracy, man, I had McGrady. I had the Jordan Bullets. Uh, me and me and my uh, homie Fresh, we had the red, white, and blue Jordan one. Mm -hmm. Um, I had the gray and green Celtic one. Okay, okay, uh, yeah. Yeah, gray and green Celtic one. I remember that one too, though. Yeah, that's... yeah. And this, the kicks had to be crispy. <laughs> hell you know, hell you know yeah, hell uh, yeah. What else? Um, uh, you know, I always had uh, always had a Sixers or a Michael Jordan jersey. Yeah. So AI was like one of my all time favorite. Nigga songs. had the red and black Sixers when he played for. AI for is a motherfucking w. staple in the game, bro. Exactly. He changed everything. Niggas was rocking braids, tattoos, and all that shit, and dressing like that because of yeah. Ivo. Yeah, it wasn't no thugs in the NBA. Yeah, he won no thugs in the NBA. He, that, he one made them niggas change the dress code, bro. Yeah, like yeah. that nigga's gonna be bitch with a motherfucking McNabb jersey on, nigga. Like, <laughs> like nigga, that bitch like, dog, this nigga cold. Yeah. And nigga, he the reason why I got braids, dog. Like, oh yeah, when I had braids, remember I have some braids. Oh yeah, nigga, Go them bitches took forever the day to get out, dog. Yeah, I ripped them bitches out, man. I couldn't, dog, I couldn't stand. I got in trouble by my coach, dog, cause I couldn't get my hair out all the time, so I had like half braids, half fro. Yeah. Like, dog, you can't be coming to here with this Detroit shit because I was in Gross Point. Like, man, fuck you, man. <laughs> like, That's Detroit shit, huh? Dog, for real, dog. For real. Now, we got this one shit, dog, <laughs> called Young Nigga Shit versus some shit I've been through, dog. Yeah. So, for for example, I always get this example out because it's a good example. Yeah. At 17, 16, I said I'd never eat no pussy. Yeah. As a grown man, nigga, you nigga, that's that's, that's a must, nigga. <laughs> you have to eat. The that's a, that's a must, dog. <laughs> or like what? Or like as a young nigga, I say I I, I never get married. Now nah, I'm married, dog. You're right. So right, what's right. I forgot my ring too. Then fuck it. <laughs> so, yeah, we got cut that. Part. Yeah, yeah. So what's some shit as a young nigga <laughs> that you may have thought about, but then as an adult, you got a whole different mindset. Um. Showing respect to elders. Mm -hmm. I feel as nobody really raised me to the point to where, like, like you could tell me something now. I'll say, okay, nigga, you don't know me. I mean, then, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was yeah, a 17-year-old sure. me. You don't, yeah. I don't know you, nigga. You don't know shit about me. Yeah. But just learning and just respecting someone's wisdom when they tell yeah. you something. Because if yeah. an old head tell you something, they know it. They know something. it. So just taking advice from yeah. others, man. I was a real stubborn kid. Yeah, that's, that's a good one, though. Yeah, because my yeah. man, uh, Big Girl, said, Karen, that was the first time I heard somebody say he didn't give a fuck when he was young. Yeah. So I can't. We got older and shit. Cause when, when you 25, you start. I mean, you you different. You start yeah. thinking different. I Hell mean, yeah. that's the age I started looking at life. Like, okay, nigga, I'm really living. Hell yeah, yeah nigga. That's, that's when you know you're adult for real. Like, yeah, this just get real. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah dog. Yeah, yeah. Cause man, yeah, 17, 18, though. Yeah, cause
they don't be giving a fuck, bro. I'll be at these high school games. They be cussing in front of motherfucking uh, uh, older, older yeah, people. Yeah, respecting like, the elders. Like, damn, like, it was a point in time when you hold the door before a lady or whatever. Right, like, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, Or yeah. if a, 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 a woman come in, you be like, oh, I ain't going to be cussing like that. Nah, they don't give a fuck, bro. Yeah, this new generation is something crazy. Man, I just saw my man buy this. When I came here, dog, real talk, got this orange juice at the gas station before I came. Nigga, uh, young boy came to my man like, hey, can you buy me a uh, fucking... um. A swisher or, or, yeah. or <laughs> real quick a leaf and he, when that bitch my man said man you gonna buy a shit for here kid he like no he 18 like man he about 15 years old bro yeah yeah niggas some crazy shit, i bro. was one of them young niggas we was, we was them young niggas before <laughs> i came on knock dude nah i used to have niggas do that shit too <laughs> Hey, yeah. I told you, I told you, man, get the fuck off, cuz. Go ahead, real butt, nigga. You school or something, <laughs> nigga. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. For real. You school or something, nigga. For real. All right, man, we yeah. got uh, a thing called top three. I'll give you a, a category. You give me your top three. All right, for sure. Top three hoopers. Uh, McGrady, Iverson, uh, Kobe. Damn, that was a quick, nigga. McGrady, nigga, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me McGrady ask you. McGrady is, hey, he I argue, no... I argue with my cousin Lance, dog. Yeah. I told a nigga, at McGrady prime, he'll beat KD one-on-one. <laughs> Y'all disagree or y'all? <laughs> uh, nah, I can't. I can't fall on that. But McGrady was a dog. Dog, hold on. They the same type of nigga. I, they got the same type of game and they prime, dog. But when I look at K, when I look at uh, KD, I see T Mac, bro. Really? I see T Mac, bro. Prime T Mac. Think about those those years with Orlando. He was that nigga who was Man. scoring. He was long, shoot the three. He just got lazy at times. Like that's what my brother said. Like sometimes he just wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah, because it was one point he was like, "Who the best between him and Kobe?" It was an argument. And he was leading the league and scoring. I think KD, KD would get worked by a, a prime team at though. <laughs> I think you, you know what? I'm gonna go with Kobe, man. I mean, I'm not Kobe. He, uh, uh, T Mac, T Mac, T Mac. I'm T Mac. T Mac was that nigga, dog. If yeah. all right, what, what about uh, if Iverson? Um, if it was one, there's another one. Iverson and Kyrie, if they went at, at each other one on one. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> I've only had no shot like uh. Kay, Kyrie. Yeah. Yeah. Game wise. Yeah. Team wise, I want Iverson, but one on one, if you're going strictly one on one, I think Kyrie would give him the word. Well put. Yeah. I ain't want to say it. You said it. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, yeah. we got top three Hoopers. Give me your top three childhood crushes, dog. Girls you was on as a, like a little, as a middle schooler, dog. Uh, uh, Kelly Rowland, Christina Milian, and. Um, Christina Milian, dog. Yeah, Christina. Kelly Rowland, Christina Fire. Milian, and I used to love. Mariah Carey. Yeah. Hold on. My brother, we was arguing, dog. I said, Kelly, to me, Kelly Rowland was better than be, looking than Beyonce. You said Kelly Rowland was? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I her, like, her and Carrie Hilson. Oh, yeah. Carrie <laughs> Hilson. <laughs> because I, I, I just yeah. love a brown. Yeah. Uh, Kelly Rowland, Carrie, Carrie Hilson. Yeah. I always liked them more than Beyonce because Beyonce just top. Top yeah, of the line, yeah, 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 yeah. She, she pretty, but you know, I like, I like, I, with the with the females, I like a, a darker complexion. Though. Yeah, me too. You know what I'm saying? But Kelly Rowland, yeah. What up, Kelly? Come I on, love show. Ke what up, Kelly? <laughs> what's good, Kelly? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. So and then what's that? Christine Milian, dog. When she was on that one shit with Nick Cannon, dog. She always gonna be fire to me. Yeah. Always, always gonna be cold. Yeah. Shout out to the Dream, man. Guy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to Nick Cannon. Shout yeah, out to she... Wayne. Like a lot hey. of niggas that had Christine <laughs> Milian. No. Shout out to hey. y'all. <laughs> niggas sleep on Nick. Nick Cannon got a nice roster, bro. Yeah. A nice little roster, dog. Yeah, yeah. He get him, dog. Shout, yeah, get shout him. out to that nigga, dog. He yeah. fucking, he born seventy nine. Look, he born fucking fifteen, nigga. Yeah, like, he really look real youthful, man. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. give me your top three uh, movies, dog. Uh, movies. Yeah. Uh, I'ma say Blue Hill Ave. Yeah, nigga, sleep uh, on that shit. That's oh yeah, one. definitely. Blue Alan Hill. Payne, dog. Mm -hmm. Blue Hill Ave. Uh, Training Day. Mm -hmm. And um, Baller Blocking. Baller blocking, yeah. nigga. Uh, what's that one song that was on that bitch that was hard, dog? Turk was going off Man, on that nigga bitch. sleep on Turk, bro. Duh. Why nigga sleep on Turk? Why nigga, you blocking duh, us? Duh, yeah, yeah, boy blocking us, dog. Yeah. Cause Turk and Wayne for a minute, you didn't know who was who. Yeah, for a second. They was sounding the same, yeah. dog. Yeah, yeah. Goddamn, ball of blocking, dog. Nigga, Juvie was in that bitch, Athens, Arizona. Man, you gotta be, like, if in person I know what ball of blocking is, you too young to talk to. Hell yeah, yeah, motherfucker. Too young Wayne hiding in the motherfucking uh, little freezer. <laughs> freezer. Dog, and shit. damn, yeah. ball of blocking. Shout out to my nigga, Chew. My brother, dog, put me on motherfucking ball of blocking, yeah, dog. Yeah, shout out to my sister, Tisha. She put me on all that shit, man. <laughs> all right, yo, uh, give me your top three uh, 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 TV shows. TV shows, uh, everybody hates Chris. <laughs> Classic. Uh, Martin and uh, Family Guy. <laughs> Family Guy. Yeah. Hey, let me ask you this, dog, because a lot of niggas been uh, stumping my show, dog. How yeah. you feel about the Wayne brothers, man? Uh, I mean, you know, besides, you know, brothers, you know, his brother's gay. <laughs> 
Sean is his, his sexual and he's, he's definitely gay but I, I don't fault him he wasn't yeah. really that funny I respect yeah. them yeah yeah but you, a, you, that, was, that wasn't like one of your favorite shows Wayne Brothers yeah. I watched it a lot but it wasn't my, my favorite this nigga man it wasn't my favorite Wayne trash no he crazy though that's, that's nah, one of my Pops, favorite shows Pops was funny hell yeah that's Pops it. was funny yeah, yeah Pops funny as fuck though yeah. bang 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 nigga yeah Pops yeah, that's them piece John with us damn soon, yeah man. from yeah. Detroit too bro definitely Fuck. definitely yeah all right give me your uh give me your top three moments in life uh moments in life uh well some of them aren't good okay but uh i just say one when i uh graduated okay uh went to uh, my first video shoot okay and when i got out of jail Okay. Best moments of my life. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. hell yeah. I bet shit. I bet. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. yeah. All right, top three foods, dog. Uh, tacos, uh, stir fry, yeah. and uh, I like steak and potatoes. Okay, hell yeah. yeah. All right, man. Last one, dog. Yo, top three, motherfucking uh uh what fat uh, clothes clothing lines. Clothing lines. Because you, your first one I asked is clothing lines, dog. Top three. Okay, what well, should um? It could be from back in the day. Dang the shit. current dog, like I mean, you know, nigga used to always. I, I was a real sporty dude, so okay. I wore a lot of Nike. Okay, you know what I'm saying Nike, of course. Okay. Uh, my fam came up off Adidas, so I used to wear a lot of Adidas. Hell yeah. I mean, but right now I wear a lot of Polo, Ralph Lauren. Okay, so okay hell yeah. Shout out my nigga there. Cheese. My nigga Cheese had came up with a song called Polo. Yeah. Nigga had every. That nigga had custom polos with cheesy in the back, dog. Like, mm, yeah. That that's how you do it. Hell that's yeah. how you do it. Though my shit, dog. Back in the day, though, my shit was a uh, guess. Oh yeah, fuck a guess heavy dog. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot about guess. Guess outfits, nigga. Yeah, yeah, guess, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Levi's dog. Levi's, I ain't never really rocked out with Levi's oh, like that. I, nigga, I got Levi jeans to this day, nigga. Oh yeah, five hundred one, five hundred ones, nigga, five hundred yeah. four. The ones that don't fit dog. Fuck a super tight, tight. Yeah, shit, yeah, they just right dog. Fit you perfectly dog. Mm -hmm. And then dog, my third one would probably be like. Nike slash Jordan shit. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all that we wore. But now kids don't even fuck with Jordan like that. Like, my son, he he read like Kyrie's, KD's, Bronze. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, kids nowadays ain't, they, they'll, he'll fuck with the Jays, but they ain't they ain't the first one like how we was. Oh, he was crazy for them. Nigga. Nigga still crazy over Jordan. Nigga, hell yeah. yeah. The, the, oh, yeah. Give me your top three Jays then. Uh, I like it, the sevens. I like the sixes. And I like the twelves. All right, my shit, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, like that. I like the Holland Graham shit on thirteens, dog. Yeah, the uh, the my favorite ones is the uh, cool grades. Yeah, don't, I almost don't, got my don't, don't, I almost got jumped over those, dog. You had a uh, spur jersey with those. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I could definitely see Hell that. Yeah. I could definitely Hell see yeah. that. I could definitely see that. <laughs> that shit was fat, hard as hell. Yeah. Hell yeah! All right, yeah. man. We always ended like this, man. Drunk moment, high moment, or both. Whoa. Okay. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> nah. What's well, some shit that you would fucked up on your ass the next day like dog? Uh, this shit, shit. happened. Uh right, I'm gonna I'm gonna start from my drunk moment. Okay. Uh I was in I was in um I was out of town. Mm. I was in Memphis seeing my moms. Mm. And we turn up so much while we over there. Cause when I come back it's always a celebration. Yeah. I'm buying bottles, I'm buying weed, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I had like a little John down the way and she wanted to see me. You know, yeah. I, I, I was in Cleveland yeah. coming back to Memphis. So I was already fucked up. Like, I'm talking about I'm fucked up on my ass, but yeah. she still pulled up, so I ain't going to tell her how I was. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Trying, I'm trying to still, I'm tr still trying to crunch or whatever. Yeah. So, I'm, so I'm like, all right, fuck it. So we in there, we smashing or whatever. I'm hitting her. I just feel myself in the earl. I feel myself in the earl. I'm hitting her. <laughs> she think I'm finna flip her over. She turned over and got throw up all over her back. Duh, no, what the <laughs> Threw up on her back, nigga. Damn. Damn, and what were you drinking, dog? Nigga, I was drinking what? What was that? Orange juice and blue top. Blue top, what's that? Burnett's. Oh shit, I never, nigga, I never heard of that. Oh, it's, it's Burnett's. It's in a clear bottle with a blue top on it. Yeah. Yeah, I was drinking blue top and orange juice, man. Now I think I drank some some pop or I mixed pop with it. Yeah. So you ain't supposed to mix pop with yeah. clear liquor. So shit, I drank that shit. Duh. She got the bubbling, threw up on her back. She was sick of Let me ask you this, dog. Sick as shit. Did, did, did she watch it? Y'all continue? No, no, we, oh. we didn't continue. <laughs> I, I couldn't continue, nigga. It was, like, it, was all, it was all with that at point, man. But that was Dude. one of my embarrassing. I know that's kind of nasty, she leave? Too. Did she leave? Like, she went home? She yeah, get mad? She, she, she went home. Yeah, oh, she yeah. definitely went Damn. home. Damn. You, know you still cool with her? Uh, we friends on social media. <laughs> She don't like none of my pictures or nothing. Duh. She still watch what that nigga doing though. Duh, that's funny. Like, I, yeah, I see you. I see you on the story. It is what exactly. It is what it is. But I, that was one of my fucked up drunk moments. Dude, yeah, man. yeah. Real do, drunk do you have a high moment or no? Uh, well, I used to smoke weed back when I was like what eight, eighteen. Yeah. Um, just, just, I don't know, niggas, niggas don't have too many hot moments, dog. Like, no, when you high, you just, you just, you just, you just fuck, yeah, you just, you just in a zone. Uh, Damn, oh, I, you know what? I do got a hot moment. Yeah. 
Uh, it was me, Fresh, and Money, yeah. and my brothers. Uh, okay. It was my money, my, my nigga, money birthday. Yeah. And we had him smoke weed the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we at the gas station getting munchies or whatever. Yeah. So um, police just pull up there fast as hell, fast yeah. as fuck, and we high as fuck, so we not noticing <laughs> these motherfuckers. <laughs> so we just sitting there watching the motherfucking police do what they doing, high as fuck, got yeah. weed on us and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So fucked we get up. to walking across the street. We on Seven Mile and Van Dyke. Yeah. And we walking down the alley, not paying these niggas no mind. They whip up on us in front of my nigga money house. Yeah. Guns out. Hey, on the floor, on the floor, on the floor. Like, oh, what the fuck? You tripping? <laughs> yeah. And I'm, and I'm high as fuck. I got weed on me. I even, oh, my fault. I didn't even think about this shit. Yeah. I got weed on me and all. Yeah. Nigga fucked around and, and the weed came out my motherfucking <laughs> fucking pants. Yeah. Yeah. So it's in my fucking shoes. So they don't have a motherfucking Duh. know. We had candy and everything spread out on the floor and shit. We right in front of my man's house. So yeah. they didn't find no weed or nothing. Duh. So they weren't tripping at all with yeah, this shit. Yeah. But that was one of them hot moments. I'm like, nigga, we was just too hot that Duh, time. Duh, we, was, fuck. we was too hot that time. God bro. damn, dog. Yeah, I had to stop smoking weed a little bit after that, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm still tripping, dog. I can't, you know, nigga hit, hitting that pussy in, bitch. Like, oh, man, you gotta turn know, me over. Man, ah. that shit crazy. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to pull out, you know, so I knew I was gonna throw go up and I leaned forward and that shit just, that shit was crazy, man. Damn. I, I apologize for that. She was a cold little joint too. Damn. Cold little joint too. <laughs> Fuck the dog. Cold little joint. Fuck the. Hey man, I appreciate you coming on the show, bro. <laughs> For sure. First pot. Hey, I, you know what? It's a question I forgot to ask. I asked everybody, yeah. dog. What's the first CD you stole or brought with your or bought? First CD you bought with your own money or stole with your own hands, nigga? You said uh, first thing I stole? <laughs> stole, no. Because most, your first CD you purchased or, or stole. One oh, of the, I, one, a CD. CD, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Eminem Marshall Mathers LP. Okay, the first I one? Bought, uh, I bought that first. No, uh, the Marshall Mathers was his, like, his... Yeah, second one, second, second one, second one. But well, that's your first CD. Yeah, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, I, I remember Marshall Mathers. That's his best one. Exactly, and you my nigga no, for that. No, you my best nigga one. for that. Best one, hands down. Nigga, because that, uh, that nigga had that stand on that bitch, dog. Yeah. I am whatever you say I am. Oh, yeah. If I wasn't, then why we a dog? Talk to him, yeah. Hell, yeah, that's just yeah. cold. My favorite Eminem song, though, is the one with him and Dr. Dre. Uh, Guilty, was it Guilty, uh, Guilty yeah, Conscious? Voices. Yeah, dun, voices dun, my dun, head. Dun, yeah, dun, yeah, dun, yeah, dun, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I did say I'm an Eminem fan then. I'm not an Eminem fan now. Yeah, you gotta go back to his like his old mixtape yeah. days when he was battling murder but, and but shit but like that. Definitely the Marshall Marshall Mathers LP is the Hands down. Yeah. Definitely. He was going in on that bitch, dog. Hands down. Shit, man, where, where can niggas follow you, dog? Where can you listen to music, man? Give me your socials. Okay, for sure, man. Follow me on uh Instagram, seven underscore braids, the number seven underscore braids. Mm -hmm. I'm on Facebook too. SCV, Nubel, N E W B L E. That's my Facebook. Okay. Um, shit, I, I got a SoundCloud too. All my money, I mean, all my money. Uh, <laughs> loving all my money available on all streaming platforms. I got a new album getting ready to drop, Sober Thoughts. I got videos coming soon. Uh, shout out to Super Ray for putting it together. Shout out Key. Shout out to uh, David Wesson, RJ Lamont, Bear on the Beat for uh, producing the album and uh, engineering everything. So let's so, let's get it. You know? Hell yeah, hell yeah. And man, we always say, man, if you had to end. Your last sentiments, dog. Like, what's some shit you want to end it off with? Like, it could be like, man, keep peace. Motherfucker, oh, shit like that. Like, some shit, yeah. Like, uh, what's some shit you want to end it off with? Or what's some shit that you would say to your younger self, dog, maybe? Mm, some uh, shit like just, that. Um, stay focused and just believe in yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, Hell yeah, it, for it sure. Start, it starts with you. Hell yeah, for sure, man. I'm going to say, dog, sometime, man. If you drinking too much, dog, that pussy, man, just wait, put that bitch on the shelf for tomorrow, dog. Yo, listen, man, it happened, man. It, it was hard, boy. It was hard. I was drinking too much, man. Hell yeah, good. The pussy, it, it, the pussy there. Oh, no, hey, the pussy was good, though. Oh, yeah, the no, yeah, good, yeah, 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 yeah. The pussy was good. I, I woke up the next morning like, well, hey, it's good. Yeah, yeah, I smashed this shit, dog. Man, she hey. just pulled, throw up on me, shit. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dog. <laughs> hey, hey, don't chase that pussy when you drunk, man. Just wait for tomorrow. You gonna get the whole little nut in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to everybody, man. I appreciate you coming on the show, bro. 100, my nigga. Yep. <laughs>